All right, sounds working, video's working. You know, I think I probably should turn this a little so you can see Mallory. Where's the K-pop? Oh, the camera's not working? The camera's working. Oh no, it's not. It's, it's like it's stalled out. It's frozen when it's looking like her. That one works. It's like hidden underneath. That one is frozen. That one's working. There's like a whole bunch of extra cameras for some reason that weren't were messed up. Okay, now is it, now we have camera. Yeah, everything's working. Sound is working, video is working, camera is working. Okay. Just a slight bit of, you know, trying to struggle to get things right after somebody used the scanning electron microscope and uh, some of the features are not working the way that we'd like. to buy bits to cheer to get the K-pop emotes? Someone else could cheer, I think, and you could still get this them. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I mean, I think you don't necessarily have to do it. So, today we are... Hello. Today we are... Hello. It's a... Uh, table. Table sick maniac. Table sick maniac. And, Hello. And John's here. Yawn. And Pacific Plankton, hello. Uh, today we're looking at some samples of diatoms, as we do often in our channel, on the scanning electron microscope. And I have with me my two assistants, Mallory and hiding behind me, Eleanor. Rihanna is not with us today. I could have helped her with the homework. She has a swimming something or rather she had to do. And in service. In service. Competency exam of some type. And we're looking at some samples that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, some of the species. And, and actually Mallory samples, for the most part. Yeah. And I'm going to hand over control to Mallory in a second. Dr. Seuss is here as well. Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss? Like one diatom, two diatom, red diatom, blue diatom? Excuse me, it's one diatom, <laughs> two diatom. Oh no. It is Green ham? I almost went three. <laughs> one, two, three. Look at this cool gonconema. It's got a little crown-shaped stigma inside. Ooh, what a cool-looking guy. Yo, go, Mal. Pacific Plankton, she's getting so colloquial with us. Yeah, like, well, she's, uh, she's, she's, hip. she's hip. She's hip, That's yeah, true. with the kids and the lingo. I should have dressed up today. Who should have? Me, I should have worn my little outfit today. Did you wear a little outfit? Yesterday I did. I wore a skirt for the first time in like a year. How'd that okay, go? That's a bit of an anxiety. How'd it go? Um, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I like dressing up. It's a lot of fun. If someone else in our midst is dressed up, I wonder why. I told you I dressed up just for you. No. <laughs> I, I understand that you reached your goal of piquing my curiosity because I'm always interested in why people are dressed up. But, like, what was the reason prior to my curiosity? That's the sole reason. I said, you know what? Yesterday Mallory dressed up and she looked really nice. Today I'm going to dress up like and soft. look really nice. It's like mind games, like, like <laughs> a mind game show. I would dress up, but I had PE today. You're, dressed up for a lot of days. And your day for dressing up is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. See? We're just in Not sequence. Not the normal reason. But We're just in sequence. I have a meeting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. 
uh, they're going to show me how to register for classes. Really? You don't know how to register for classes? Nope. I can teach you. How did you Same get the classes you have? They did, uh, a they did a forum for us. They did it for you. Dangling, <laughs> dangling, 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 dangling. Is dangling here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do I take it from that? Yawn. What's good? Yawn just said nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm really curious about this diatom. You are? This one right here. We finished the house. Why are you curious about it? Does it have interesting stigma at all? Um, well, it seems like very weird diatom. It's super large for one, for a gomphonema. Pandemic watch, hello. Hi, Pandemic. Hello. Well, uh. My hands are so flat. They're flat? Yeah, look at them. I hadn't They're noticed. Like scissors. I got tiny hands. Your hands are like scissors. You, don't, you do have small hands. I do. Wait, hold on. Let's. <laughs> I have. Lar I have long fingers. Can't help it. Okay. That's a good thing though. I added pink and I don't know if you like pink. Oh my gosh. I used to not like pink when I was younger. I love pink. I think it's so freaking cute. Added pink to what? To my house in The Sims. I am a Sims character. Oh. My reputation not precedes me. It exists beside me. There's two of me in the world. There's one real you. Which one's the real me? And one sim you. What does it mean to be real? Anyway, but yeah, I like pink. It's cool. We can call you Edward. Call me Edward. Scissor hands. Edward scissor hands. Yeah. Edward flat hands. Edward. Oh, hands. we shared our germs, Eleanor. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Gross. How goes it from Pandemic Watch? How you doing? Me? Yeah, I guess. I'm fine. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of my time drawing recently. Yeah. Look, I, I got one of the things in my Redbubble card. Uh, I've been making diatom artwork. This sample did not work out the way I thought it was going to, with all kinds of cool stuff on it. What's the field we're gazing at? We are current, oh, I'm sort of just moving around. I wanted to see what how the slides turned out. So um, I wanted to, these are some samples from East African Rift, and um, these are diatom materials. Oh, are we changing positions? I'm seeing a picture. There's a lot of me and Eleanor in your... Yeah. Well, you know, I see you guys a lot. Are you want to be in the picture? Yes, Eleanor? I want to be in the picture. Here, so you, so you got to be social distance. Okay. So you back a little bit. I'll just go over here. Yeah, block me. That's great. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Okay. So I, Mallory's in charge of some Instagram account today, and so she's here, taking here, here. pictures of us doing things. Okay. And also, she's in charge of the art direction for this shot, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Here's that really weird Cirrella we saw on Saturday, which is Cirrella nice, Sparsi nice, Punctata. Nice. And I'm going to just yeah. jump over to seven. So I, I have about, um, I don't know, I think five or six species that I've drawn for, um, I was originally just making little badges out of them, but um, people seemed really interested in me making them into stickers and other things. So um, we've made a Redbubble site where you could get access to those drawings as stickers, or you could have them on, uh, I don't know, a water bottle or a clock. They had bathroom floor mats, which I thought people don't really want to stand on a diatom floor mat, do they? <laughs> but uh, you never know. But you can put them on various items if you'd like. And, um, you know. 
have cool diatoms on things. Oh, that looks good. Just a little bit of junk on this one. This is a Diplonese, which is uh, one of the diatom genera that we're focusing on uh, in the materials that we're looking at here. And by focusing on, I mean we're working on describing some of these species. Some of them are probably new. Where's the beam? Oh, it's working its way up. All right, Mallory, are you ready? In a momento. I'm explaining things to the to people. To who? The people. In the chat? No, on this Instagram story. Oh. I have a job here. She's multitasking her social media. Yes. Sorry. And I'm not very, I'm not normally on social media, I promise. Lol. Um, while she should be hanging out in the Twitch channel, well, she's running an Instagram this. account. Oh my god. Eleanor, take it over. I can't do more than two things. Okay. My brain doesn't work. It'll just take two seconds. Um. What are people saying, Eleanor? I gotta try to thing. Okay. And Del can't hear us. He's on the phone again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Customer service. That's what Dell's known for. Dealing with his customer service. Oh, they want to know if we run an Instagram account for the lab. We do run an Instagram account for this lab. Who asked? Open set. Oh, open set. Do you not know that we have a Instagram account? I honestly didn't know that. Check this out. Doo -doo. You can just click a button. <laughs> you know what? I bet open set you could you could click that you could even type that yourself i think that's set up so that uh, so that people who are vip can type it you know what else we could type if we had mods they would type this uh, squad button so people could go oh look people in the channel like del maximum and pacific uh, plankton and open set also stream Oh yeah, we have a been running the lab Instagram from long before we actually uh, set up the Twitch account. Um, when we first got the scanning electron microscope, one of the first things I wanted to do was to try to make it so that the things that we were taking pictures of were accessible to people. So also, if you just scroll down into my about section, which is if you're viewing this on a PC, I know a lot of people just use their phones to view on Twitch. It's not really an option for you there. But if you are um, viewing this on a PC, you can just scroll down underneath us in the about section. And there's links in there to the, um, the lab Instagram account and my Twitter page and uh, the Discord in case you're interested in carry on conversations with us after you finish with the streams. And the Instagram images that are there are the same ones, for the most part, that cycle through in the pictures that are down below us, in the, um, in the little colorized images and things that are down below us in the, in the feed uh, that are sort of cycling through, except for I've added a bunch of new ones since those, and I don't know that I've put all those back into the actual, uh, inst they're in the Instagram, I don't think I've put them into the actual feed below have to sort of manually uh, add things to. OpenSet says, I did not know because I don't use Instagram, but was going to mention that some of my postdoc microscopy friends have run lab Instagrams. Yeah. And they seemed helpful in networking with undergrads, PhDs, looking at labs they're interested in joining. Um, We're always looking for people to come join our lab. Phone call complete. You know, as Does grad the Discord students. link work? It should work. The one below in my, uh, below in the about section should work for sure. Yeah, it works. I just checked it. Yeah. K-pop, listen. Oh, I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see, where is that hiding? You listen to K-pop? I do not. The little K-pop icons that you can get right now that pop up? They're not in there. Uh, oh, why aren't they in there? I for a BTS one. Um, I think they're on my, I think I have them on my account though. Have any ISU students ever sniped the stream? Uh, I don't know what that means. Yeah, we'll just snipe them. Yeah, what does snipe mean? I mean, these guys right here are ISU students. I mean, I've, I've mentioned it a few times to my, uh, to people I know, but none of them really use Twitch, so. 
I tell yeah. everybody I'm Twitch famous. Yeah? I yeah. tell people that. Well. <laughs> we just hang out all the time with AOC playing uh, Among Us. Her, her reaction, do you know who, um, what is it, uh, Grave? Grave? No, not Grave. Corpse. Corpse, Corpse? Corpse Husband. Corpse Cor- Husband, he's like a, uh, he's got this crazy deep voice. And she was playing with him. He's like a, he's like got famous for his deep voice and he is like a singer or rapper now or whatever. And she was like, his voice, whoa. And it was like two worlds colliding. It was so weird. <laughs> who is uninvited? Stream snipers are people who show up uninvited during a live stream. Oh. I don't think anyone's uninvited. Everybody's invited, yeah. yeah. I don't care if people... We're not teaching a class here or anything, so, you know. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, I guess people have walked into the room. Mm-hmm. Oh. We've yeah. had professors come in, like, uh, walked into the lab, but students can't get into this lab because the door's locked. Yeah. And, uh, Only I know the code. Only and Well, I mean, obviously <laughs> I know the code. Other faculty know the code. I am the only one. Do you know it? No, no I she can't I'll get show in. it to you. What? <laughs> She's going to reveal all of her secrets. All right, so... Brave Joni has joined the Diatom Army, and Wheelie Man 99 has joined the Diatom oh, Army. Thank you for those follows. That's really great. Oh, you got a woot woot Thank too you. from Eleanor. <laughs> uh, bonus woot woot. So, oh, we don't even have the little sound. Why didn't it play a sound for us? Oh, oh. do we have sounds that do it now? Oh, it's because I have the sound turned off. Yeah, I do too. Stream sniping also comes with the connotation that people are seeking attention or followers or trolling, messing with the stream. I mean, if they're if they're being rude, we can get rid of them. But other than that, we got a handle on it's it. It's up to other people if they choose to give them attention. I think we'll we'll manage it. Yeah. What sample? What sample are we on? I gotta redo all my sounds. Yeah. One eighty nine. Hey, uh, are you gonna take over control of the SCM? Yeah, I can do here? that. Can you do me too? Amazing image, by the way. Thank you. Inside again. Inside what? Internal view, because ah. we've been looking for external views of Diplonese, and I keep finding internal views. I've been wearing this mask for like, it's my favorite mask. You mean the same mask? Yeah. You can mix it up, shake it up Chicago, you know? Yeah. You need to wash the one that you have at least. I have two of these. Two of the same mask? Yeah, the wow. same pattern. You really like that mask. I know, it's cute, right? It's cute, and it glows in the dark. Yeah. It glows in the dark? Uh-huh. Mm. If only it had diatoms on it. I'm, I've washed my mask. I'm, oh, my gosh. Instead of whatever Spreading those things are. Spreading rumors around me, I'm a, I'm a bad mask person. I'm Is that plankton? All of uh, the round ones are plankton. Who asked that? Electronic wizard. Well, electronic wizard, the round ones that are in here. Anonymous this one. Cowboy 67 said, what are we looking at? I These are diatoms. My ex-boyfriend had that username. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> oh, really? One from a long time ago. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so the, the, the uh, things that we're looking at are diatoms. They're a type of algae that live in uh, all kinds of aquatic environments. And we're looking at them with a scanning electron microscope. Um, and in this one instance with the round one that we're looking at right here, that is plankton. So these round ones are centric diatoms, usually found floating in the water column. And um, this one is endemic to Lake Tanganyika. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, this is um, uh, Cyclostephanos uh, diatom. And um, these really large Circular diatoms are found in the really deep parts of Lake Tanganyika pretty commonly. The little round ones are also found in the deep water. Here's a, that was an internal view. So diatoms have two valve, uh, two valves that are attached together. And on the SEM, you can actually see both internal views or external views. And um, so if we're looking on the inside, for example, if I click over on this one and we zoom in on it, you'll see the structure, the ultrastructure on the inside of the valve and also, um, maybe it's clear to you, it's evident to me that this is the edge of the valve, and then we're looking into it, it's sort of cup-shaped or dish-shaped. And, um, and this structure that you're seeing here on the margin um, 
is actually what classifies this this thing as uh, Cyclostephanos. This is uh, CF Damasii. We don't know if it's Damasii, but it's I close to that. I next it too. Thank you for the follow. We also have some other things. Um, Jan wants me to turn off lights for the proof that this glows in the dark. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but I will do it. I've been preparing. Um, oh, oh have you? Watch. Yeah, I've been shining a light in my face for like yeah. three minutes behind you. <laughs> okay. Pandemic Watch says it's perfect, and then MT Live says perfectly round. It's perfectly round, yeah. And Scientists <laughs> use it to measure their instruments with. Open yeah. Set says I have some live West Coast oysters mussels being shipped over. I'm curious if I'll be able to collect some liquid and have a little bit of Pacific plankton for myself. I bet you can. Um, so just for clarity, that was an internal <laughs> view. This is what the outside of the valve looks like. You can see some of the similar structures, that little fork-like structure that we were looking at on the inside. Uh, with these little tiny, uh, these are costi, the, the heavy things here um, are costi, or sometimes referred to as interfascicles on these on this genus. And you can see it has a little a row of little spines around the outside, and also these little holes associated with each one of the spines, or almost each one of the spines. And those are mantophotoportula, which are just a, a little opening that the diatoms usually exude some material out. Um, the spines are mostly for decoration, I think. Uh, you know, it's, it's Halloween costume. And uh, so this is the outside view of that same large diatom that we were looking at, Cyclostephanus demasii. And it is plankton. It floats in the water column. This thing that's behind it is also plankton, a little round guy. And that is a Stephanodiscus, I think. Or maybe it's also a Cyclostephanus. Uh, I'm not sure about that. It does seem to be forking right after the uh, um, uh, the Mentophotoportula, and that's usually a sign that it's actually a Cyclostephanos. So um, I'd have to look really closely at it to figure that out, but it's likely. Um, also, some things that are in here that are just sort of random and not round. Uh, this really long, skinny thing that looks like a toothpick is, in fact, a sponge spicule. And there's another one over here. And if we were to zoom in on it, you'd see that it's covered with some, um, it's just got some clay on it. But sometimes they have a whole bunch of little spines or bumps on the surfaces of them. Um. And sponge pickles go inside of a sponge. They're just a little part of, uh, of the skeleton of a sponge. Electronic wizard on the, on the sphere thinks he said the degree of engineering to make something artificial would be mind blowing. And then Jan said, I think I missed the explanation last stream, but how come the diatoms get smaller? And then Dell gave a short explanation. Um, Look, it's an external view, but all this stuff is covered with junk. Look at all the cool structure on this thing. Sponge spicules are species specific. Yes, they are. And Electronics Wizard says, does it have natural color or you just digital paint it to the right to make it easier to analyze? Uh, the images that you see that are in the bottom of um, that are in the bottom of the field, those are just colorized in Photoshop. And they're only colorized for aesthetic quality. There's, there's not really a reason to do that, other than just, uh, I think people like to look at things in color rather than black and white. The scanning electron microscope itself doesn't use light. So there's no light in the chamber whatsoever. And in fact, our little microscope camera that usually looks into the chamber is disabled for some reason today. And so there's no light at all going on inside the uh, scanning electron microscope, not even the infrared light that normally is um, coming from that camera. Um, instead, the scanning electron microscope uses electrons to see. And so um, instead of using uh, light and on any level, so the images that are being created by the scanning electron microscope can't be in color because they don't use light at all. My eighth grade science teacher taught us that he was so good. That's cool, good teacher. Indeed, the info stuff. Great news. You guys want to hear something that's so fun? When I was in high school, I took AP Bio. Diatoms were the one thing that I didn't understand. I told you this before. And now you I still thought. don't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, was that harsh? Oh, man. Um, no, but it's just interesting how, you know, things that you think will be inconsequential come back. 
In my okay. high school, they didn't talk about diatoms at all. Really? Yeah. We talked about them for a very short period of time. I mean, we had to cover the whole animal kingdom. I'd yeah. say most people don't know what diatoms are. What color are the electrons? I know quarks have color. Uh, electrons aren't point objects. They're a cloud. Uh-oh. And technically, nothing has a color unless it's within the visible light range. Color is like an experience of things you see. So I'm really, sorry, uh, I'm playing around with the focus a little bit. I'm trying to get the exterior view of this to look really sharp. A quantum color charge joke. I'm stupid, I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's doing jokes? Yawn. Oh. I'm just playing around with the stigmation a little to try to get the picture to look a little bit better. And uh, that's just something I do whenever I get something that has a bunch of little holes like this. Because it actually provides us with abilities to focus a little bit better. And then um, I can also slow down the beam if I wanted the image quality to improve. Electric. Oh, wait, no, sorry, it wasn't yawn, it was open set. Yawn explained, well, the yawn added on to the joke. So here's what I've been looking for, it's just an external view of one of these, and it's just covered with schmutz, so. My doing. Oh, wait, no, you prepared these. Not my doing. Yeah, it's my doing. Well, rather, it's nature's doing. I just didn't get it clean enough. But our choices were rinse it a few more times, or don't have images to look at for the stream, so. Oh my gosh. Uh, are you ready to take over control, Mallory? Yeah. Uh, also, I think my first class to teach about diatoms was my first plant biology course in college, which included a deep dive into non-plant photosynthetic organisms. Reminds me of film primer. Film primer. I guess what you were talking about in there. Oh. Um, my first botany class was in high school. I took botany and zoology because I took, I took biology in eighth grade. And they were like, ah, well, we can't let you do chemistry because you don't have geometry because the, the two tiny pieces of geometry that you needed to do chemistry, I guess, dictated my whole high school experience. Anyway, yeah, I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. I'm ready to hand it over to The growth on the time travel weevil. Weevil? Yep. Weevil. Soybean Burrito says, I'm new to this channel. What are you looking for in diatoms? These diatoms. Mallory, would you like to answer that? You, well, I don't know if you want me to... <laughs> Milady? <laughs> Let me get in there. I got the chat. In these diatoms... You got the chat? Yeah. I I'm scared. It. You've got the chat and you've got the controls. I don't need to do anything. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I stream. I, uh, I thought you said it wanted to be a surprise. What? What's a surprise? This. I thought you said you wanted it to be a surprise. What's a surprise? About explaining what these diatoms are for. Well, just explain in general why we look at diatoms. Why we look at diatoms? Why do people care about diatoms? Well, diatoms are pretty important to the environment. They make, what, one-fourth of the air that we breathe? But Dr. Stone specifically uses them as a, um, what's the word? We sit in my climate change class. Environmental indicator? Yes, environmental indicator of I'm how... Of what? I'm here to help. Thank you. Of how the climate changes, especially over long periods of time. And diatoms reproduce pretty quickly, and they react pretty obviously in their structure when things change. Oh, in their structure and in how well they reproduce and will live in general in response to certain changes in the environment. So if you collect a, a core of them, so if you collect a little sample of you know layers of soil as they deposit over time not soil. sediment i apologize soil is not a scientific word soil is a scientific word it means water it means uh, sediments found on the land surface that have organic components in them anywho so when you collect sediment that's you know deposited over hundreds of thousands of years as diatoms die off, their little bodies sink down to the bottom and land in those sediments. So you'll have a nice little layered connect, like collection of diatoms changing as the years go by, or not changing, you know, if things aren't changing. Um, so when we divide those cores up and we look at them, we can see, ooh, diplonies. We can see how the environment of the lake changed, or, you know, if there's not a lake there, 
anymore if there was a lake or if there is a lake now if there is a time where there wasn't a lake that kind of deal you can see things like changes in salinity changes in depth changes in ph changes in nutrients all of these things are things that diatoms will respond to and they respond on. both by changing the community of the diatoms in other words which diatoms we see and also um, we might also see differences in the uh, total volume of diatoms. So if you add a bunch of food to an environment and the diatoms can eat it, they'll replicate very quickly and they'll bloom and you'll get more diatoms in each gram of sediment. Um, but you will also sometimes see transitions associated with different species. So a community change hey, where we go from diatoms cracking. that live in shallow water to diatoms that live in deep water, for example, or diatoms that like salt water to diatoms that like fresh water, and they tell us things about the environment in the past. Let's see, Electronics Wizard asks, are you sisters? Oh no. <laughs> Mallory, She's like Mallory and I are sisters, but yeah. Eleanor and Mallory. Yes, yeah, sister, sister. <laughs> Give me a fist bump, please. Don't, don't leave me hanging live on this. I don't want to touch you. <laughs> Man. I've heard rumors about what happens when people touch you. <laughs> that's, I'm worried. That's a classic. It, that's for the that's for the OG watchers. <laughs> Want to make T-shirts? Yeah. Mallory's face and like a. Oh hand. no, your sound's on. It's okay. It's just you begging for a fist bump. It's not a big deal. Man. Desperate for. Uh, Desperate. <laughs> and then Jan's. Yawn. Yawn's. Sirlu said, Is the diatom community more toxic than Twitch? Uh, no. They're all super nice, or at least the ones that I've met. The diatom community is absolutely stellar. Except I got a bone to pick with this one guy. He divided up this one genus in a certain way. I got a bone to pick with him. You have a bone I'm kidding. To I'm pick. kidding. Yeah, I want to email him and say, hey, what did you think you were doing? But Dr. Stone said I'm not allowed to do that. Um, you know, I think he hangs out with E.T. You could just uh, talk to him while E.T.'s there. I no, think. I want to do a strongly worded email. See if E.T. will put him on the phone with you. I like the anonymity of... of Maybe you could set up a online. Zoom meeting No, that's him. covered in schmutz. Really? He'll be like, and who are you? Yeah, then everybody will just uh, throw to hate me. I'm... I'm diatom enemy number one. <laughs> oh, see. Open sent sent us a bunch of uh, toxic emojis. Oh yeah. And yeah, then also me. a cat with a snowman arm and a purple heart. A cat with a snowman arm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on my screen I use the night mode and I can't actually see the <laughs> snowman arm at all. Oh. Uh, oh, oh no no. I I'm getting get tangled really up. I'm getting tangled up in the wire. Oh, right, tropical geek. Said Mallory in all oh, caps. Tropical Geek. Where did you find Mallory? I missed. That was a sponge spicule a second no, ago. Uh, you just had something before the sponge spicule. Um, it looked really cool. It was like peanut shaped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I zoomed in on it for a second, but I didn't know. I Why got distracted. I got distracted. That's a really and it's cool. Not really, it's covered in gross stuff. I know, but that is a cool diatom. If only you could see it. Uh, I've seen enough of it to know. Do I need to know what it is? Wait, it's I think for I this do. Week. I saw that. It's our diatom for yeah. this week. And it's the one that you were looking at. Yeah. On diatoms of North America earlier today. Her? Wow. Yep. Did she have diatom assignments? Do you have diatom assignments? I do not have diatom assignments. She's What's going learning on? learning diatoms on her own. When you guys aren't around, she's also wow. learning diatoms. Wow, that's dedication. She's take. She's gonna take my spot. I've decided. No, you're too cool, Mallory, to be replaced. Oh, that's sweet. Don't lie to yourself, though. You're gonna take my spot. When you're like gone, maybe. Not I that. Really hard. Oh, we could, we I'll could, be we, gone we, soon. We could work to make Mallory gone. Oh my God. <laughs> make Mallory uh, disappear. That's right. <laughs> They'll find me with my with my ankle all messed Tropical up when I try to climb said. out the window. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just I'll get you a, a crowbar and you can go uh, Nancy Kerrigan and uh, you know oh a figure skating Tanya Harding or whatever her name was Tanya Nancy oh, was the victim yeah. although Tanya said she didn't know what happened and her movie was quite convincing her movie was it made her look pretty bad <laughs> yeah 
But no one's perfectly good or bad. Tropical yeah. Geek said, Mallory and who? I am confused. I see so many blonde blue shirts. Eleanor and, <laughs> and, and blue I think shirts. you're literally the only other blonde in the lab. There's, there's oh, really, Mary's blonde. and I'm barely, I'm barely blonde anymore. There's really only four characters that ever show up oh, on I the look screen blonde. besides oh. me. And then I got a shout out from Rihanna. Mika with the Elasaur. Mika, Mika, where you Mika. at? Hey, Mika. Hey. Hey, Tropical Geek. I miss you dearly. I'm always waiting for someone to bully me unnecessarily. All right. Send me on my way. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and Calthon said, oh, no. what did I just join? <laughs> what? Who is it? The game. Uh, Calthon. Oh, okay. Calthon, are you? I th yeah, you in the Discord. I've literally responded <laughs> to a thing that you sent before. And Tropical Geek said, I am Hispanic. All of you look blonde <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There's a Philip Mammoth with parts. Ew, I hate farts. <laughs> and they say because of the masks when they talk, they think one of you has a man's voice. Probably it's not my voice. Because they can't tell that you're not talking. They think that you have my voice. Oh, I thought they were saying that I had a man voice. I'm like, I was like, I felt like a little, like Elmo, like, whoa, oh, Elmo. <laughs> Mallory has a little boy voice. Excuse me? Well, I can't deny that. I have the boy. I have the voice <laughs> and the body of like a, a twelve-year-old boy. <laughs> tropical geek says, "I give you tropical love with a, chancleta when needed." Tropical love, that sounds like a TV show. I love. <laughs> I love Ninety Day Fiance. And C Death Four Twenty says, "Are you looking for ancient life forms?" No. These are modern life forms. Yeah, these are from. Aren't these from like two thousand eighteen? Yeah, they are. Two thousand eighteen. I'm liking all this crunchy stuff. And then the electronics wizard says, does scanning with electron microscope kill all microscopic organisms in the sample? The vacuum kills them. Yeah, the combination of gold, pl gold plating them and, uh, and the vacuum uh, usually kills everything. You were just looking at that, weren't you? It yeah, was. no, that's how you started out. Yeah, that is the Cerorellis Farsi Punctata. Da -da 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 -da. You know what my favorite song's been lately? You know Carly Rae Jepsen? I've already talked about this. And Tropical uh, Geeks going mod, 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 hello, someone mod. Oh, oh. That means someone did something. Eleanor not doing her job? Oh, yeah. Can you go someone in there? Oh. I don't know how I didn't see that one. It's but, okay. Uh, you wouldn't have known what to do anyway. It's fine. Yeah. That was not an insult towards you, by the way. That was a... Uh... You took care of it? And then, bro, why you snitch? You are so funny. That is so funny and cool. I, w I wish I were you. Anyway. Yeah. I'm exploring mod view too, Del. I tried to do that one time and it turned out embarrassing on the stream. <laughs> I tried to take care of things. Oh, Pacific Plankton's back. Pacific? Oh, oh, that's an okay Diplonese. You already see that, well, it's got some stuff on it. A little crumble. Do you see it, Dr. Stone? Uh, that's a cool I'm one. busy dealing with this. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I can see into it. I like that. And C Death for twenty says, "Wow, how far can you zoom?" Uh, I think you can zoom down to. Let's find out. Let's zoom, zoom, zoom. You can zoom down to fifty nanometers, so we can kind of see things down on that level. Oh, there's a little bar at the bottom. Um, as I'm scanning, you should be able to see it go in, in, in. I think we'll take a picture of this. Oh, no, you took a picture of this one because it has the band around the center. Gosh, I'm a clown. I did take a picture of that one. Ugh, clown. Clown hours. I don't feel like you're limited to just this one stub. Oh, I shan't. 
it's pretty sparse. I'm gonna move on. Anyway, okay, I wanna go to... I think 98. Will that have my favorite one on it? I think, oh, look at those little ripples. Someone has a lot of clay in them. And you are equally as sparse. What's going on, Eleanor? I'm panicking. If I'm left in silence for too long, um, I get uncomfortable. I'm kidding. What is the size of the sample? I don't understand the question. The size of the sample, I guess, is one of the The entire stub, maybe? That's just, yeah. it's an, it's in it, it's just one 10 millimeters, isn't it? Yeah, around 10 yeah. millimeters. It was 9.5 because I measured them and I was like, they scammed us out of out of 10 millimeter, uh, 0.5 millimeters. <laughs> they did not scam us out of 0.5 millimeters. By the way. Yeah. Oh, and we are a university stream, I guess. That's what they're talking about. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and read these later. Here, just read them all out loud, Eleanor, cause- Okay. Unless it's not appropriate, then don't say it. I just kind of, I just, I filtered through the, the fun stuff, you know. Oh, okay. You're good. The interesting. We're gonna have fun in the sun. CDev420 asks, how much does a microscope like this cost? Well... I, it, it's worth, isn't it 160? Yeah, around 160. 160,000, but I did convince about 50 kids one time that it was worth a million. So, if you want to think that too, you can join them. It's like telling kids that they're Santa Claus. Um, yeah, Santa Claus is real for anyone out there who's younger. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I was talking about. I was just playing. I like this die song. And then Pandemic Watch wants to know if we've ever lost something really cool because it's so small. I don't... What? Like, I guess when we, like, move throughout the slide. Oh my could. god. I can't tell you how many times I've been on the light microscope and I'll see something and I'm like, ooh! And then I lean back and I just smack my arm into the... Or I smack my head or something into the stage and it's just gone. And I'd... Back when I was looking... Ugh, I did summer research, and I did that so many times. I would work 10 hours in a day. One time that happened, and I was so frustrated, I just got up and I left. Dr. Stone wasn't there, so he didn't get to see it, but <laughs> I was so angry with myself. I just got up, and I went home, and I ate a bunch of food. What about you, Eleanor? <laughs> what? Have you ever done that? I'm Found sorry. something cool, and then lost it, and then gave up. I lost one of my rocks the other day, but I found it. It was under my desk, so. <laughs> it's not a very exciting story, but. I used to lose my iPod all the time, oh, really? and it would always be in the same basket, but I would never look in the basket. My mom was a Longa Burger mom, so she had a lot of baskets. Now I, now <laughs> I have Longa Burger baskets. So this is funny. Calthon says, who is Grant, and why is he giving away microscopes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but he can call me anytime, any place. Get that. Um, Plaquenies. Uh, you know, I'm not sure from where I'm looking. Hang on. Yeah, it's Plaquenies. Yes. Wait, go to the ends. Zoom in. Yeah, it's a plug in. Yes! It's nothing but net! Uh, they want to know, how big is the scope physically? And is it a new scope or older technology? That's like two and a half feet. Do you know there's a camera here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you could actually point it at it. And so there's Eleanor and Mallory for scale. I got a big head, don't use me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Stop! Uh, so the scale of the machine is, you know, it's shorter than it, shorter than me. And oh, here, stand uh, up, stand up. 
She's 5'8". Yep, 5'8". So you can get a sense of it. Yeah. And um, it goes in through the whole desk down to the floor, but it's basically the size of a desk. Why did I say two and a half feet? <laughs> I was just counting that top bit. <sighs> good times, good times. Oh, why are you rotated, home dog? Cut that out. And the pandemic wants to know where we send these grants to get funding. Uh, National Science Foundation uh, is where the grant went initially, and then um, I ultimately ended up getting funded by the provost of the university here, so um, an internal grant to the university itself. And then Dell says it looks like a really fancy coffee machine. Yeah, uh, it makes a uh, really trashy coffee, though. <laughs> it kind of looks like a mad scientist, like, building where he goes in the middle of the city to, like, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. That's what I was going to say. Mm. The machine looks like a It looks like his, like, building? his big building in the center of the tri-state area. Super dirty. See, I know. Tropical Geek, all caps again, Mallory. Oh, yeah, what's good? <laughs> And then Blinkster2 said, are you doing work as this seems far too much fun? Uh, your, some work can be fun. Our, all of my work is fun. Yeah. They also want to know, do you Dumb have bone. to be certified to operate this machinery? Nope. <laughs> you just need a certain number of hours, unspecified hours. It's actually specified. Shit. <laughs> Normally it's something like 20 hours with me. Oh, I've done that. Okay. I was panicking for a second. I was like... <laughs> Normally, I let, let students operate it by themselves if I'm sitting here, which I am. Uh, but Mallory actually has uh, an account. She could run it on her own if she wanted to, unlike every other student in our university, actually. What she's can I She's doing say? a funny dance about it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but she's been trained to uh, completely operate the scanning electron microscope, and in fact, she trains other people and occasionally has to show faculty how to do things when they can't remember. Okay. See, they want to know if we have to wear health dosimetry for beta radiation. Um, we have to wear what? He wants to know if we have health, to wear like protective gear yeah. for no, beta decay. No, radiation. the only thing in the chamber is a an electron uh, cloud and some magnets, which are shielded, and a huge vacuum. So it doesn't actually do any sort of radiation. The electrons are captured in the process of um, making the images. So the electrons basically fly around inside the chamber and are sort of vacuumed up by a positively charged uh, uh, sensor in there that actually collects the electrons. And then there's a ground um, so that the electrons that are in there that don't get sort of vacuumed up will be, um, you know. Neutralized. Neutralized, yeah. I and mean, they want to know how often do we, like, how many hours do we spend looking at diatoms per day? I spend every day looking at diatoms in some capacity. Dr. Stone spends his whole life, 24-7, yeah. he dreams about them. When he eats dinner, they form into a diatom shape. Probably. <laughs> uh, on the scanning electron microscope, we probably spend about um, 8 to 10 hours a week. I was going to say eight. Some of that's spent just screwing around doing streams um, like we're doing now. But nope, we're okay. sort of doing some science nested in our streams. So Mallory's actually looking for species and, um, and taking pictures of things that we actually want to have images of. But, um, not many. Not in that sample. I'm moving but, on. Uh, no, I'm not going to move on. I'm not going to move on. I'm being persistent. I'm persistent. But um, sometimes when I need to come and do stuff and I don't want to stream and I just want to use the skinny electron microscope, I might come in for a few hours uh, when I can sort of manage it. And then I spend a lot of time looking at diatoms in the light microscope. Um, this past week, not so much, but the week before I probably spent maybe upwards of 30 hours at home working on the light microscope. Um, so basically all of my time in the evenings when I'm not eating or helping my daughter play video games or whatever it is she <laughs> wants to do. Um, mostly because I have a project that we're working on and I'm trying to get the paper uh, finished and it just requires us to collect data for, uh, for that to happen. 
I think the students in my lab probably spend a couple hours a week on the microscope each. I don't know how many hours you guys spend doing the taxonomy stuff. Probably just a couple, right? I spend 30 minutes and then I'm done. Because you're a pro. Because I'm so impressive, yeah. It mm. takes me a while. Also, <laughs> also because you do half ass job. <laughs> A half-ass job, but who gets it right every week? Oh, this girl. Oh my God. <laughs> if I can half-ass something and still do it well, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It just takes a Does certain kind of person, what can I say? <laughs> and we have a question about the light microscope stuff. Is most oblique lighting done with fiber optics? I'm worried that if I keep increasing the power of the LEDs I'm using near the sides, it'll heat up the samples. I literally did not understand a single word you just said. Okay. What was it? He's asking about uh, oblique lighting. Yeah. And um, in our lab, we don't actually image anything that way, um, except our uh, stereo microscope, and it does use fiber optic lights. Um, it also has an overhead ring light. That, uh, that oh. functions on the stereo microscope. So it has sort of a, a direct down ring light, um, and then that, that, that's LED, and then two fiber optic lights that come in from the side. And most stereo microscopes use the fiber optic, fiber optic for oblique light. Oh, they want to know where we got the sample from. The Africa. samples were collected from, uh, in 2018, from the lakes. Malawi and Tanganyika, which are in the East African mm, Rift. No. And they were collected by a colleague of mine, Itzi, who's a diatomist. And Itzi and Mallory and I have been working in the East African Rift for the last couple of years, um, trying to describe species and characterize species. And Itzi and I have ongoing projects in Lake Tanganyika. Um, we just had a grant funded from ICDP for $1.5 million for... When? For <laughs> uh, collecting cores. But the core process for collecting those cores, because we're gonna try to go back around 10 million years into the past, which is basically most of the length of time that Lake Tanganyika has been around, and try to explore diatom evolution by looking at the diatoms in the bottom and basically seeing how they evolve as we go through the sediment records. Diatoms are one of the few organisms that um, we don't actually even have to go that far back to observe evolution occurring in them because they replicate so quickly and they're so small and they preserve. Um, we're act actually able to rec uh, sort of, um, reconstruct their evolution over much shorter timescales, thousands of years rather than millions of years. But Lake Tanganyika is a very special lake it's uh, one of the deepest Whoa. lakes on planet Earth and one of the oldest lakes on planet Earth. And so we can get a really long record and sort of see what, what went on in Lake, lake Tanganyika over that 10 million years. What are you? Uh, but the process of collecting those cores is actually requires a lot of really heavy equipment. And it's even though we got a $1.5 million grant uh, funded for that project, we're going to need another $200, uh, no, uh, $20 million or so to get the coring platforms and all of the equipment. That's not actually for the core collection, that's to, I mean, actually to set up the equipment that we'd be able to use to core lakes in the future as well. So it's not just for this project, but we need to get it funded in order to basically be able to collect the cores, so. And most of those grants were written, uh, that grant was written by somebody else. Uh, I'm, I just contributed to it. Uh, Sort of incidentally. Are you a Cockneys? Yes. Mm. Chat? Um, they're just, they said it seems very boring. What's boring? Diatoms. I find it very interesting. Who, the, who said it was boring? It's like a. Oh. This looks Theo. I mean, he says he gets it, but he says it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. But. Oh, some of these samples are a little bit. Um, and don't have a lot of diatoms on them. I'm moving on. What? You looked at one and what? Pick any of the samples actually, except for six. I think six just was really sparse. And that's the one I chose, and you let me choose it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Zero. Where are you going? Just fixing the rotation. I don't oh, like it okay. when it's at an angle. Look at that! Spongebob. Spicule. 
And then Steve Death 420 says, can you use software to automatically search for diatoms? No. Uh, yes, sort of. Mm. Um, we don't have it on this uh, computer. Doesn't it only have like a not great accuracy? The accuracy for those is relatively limited, but... Oh. Tip on these. Oh, look at Planese. That's pretty good. Internal view, though. You don't want internal view? No, take it. Okay. Uh, you know, focus it and stuff. But then. No, I was going to take it and like And then Del this. said this was a discussion we had in Discord. Yeah, we had a pretty long discussion about this before in Discord as well. But, um, you know, in order to do that, you would have to have software that could basically scan the entire stub and then a computer program that's designed to identify which things are diatoms and then to have those images of those diatoms then be identified for you. And the process would actually be substantially longer than just having a human do it uh, and scan around and see what they are looking for. Especially in the case for what we're doing because we're just looking for a couple of species, not all of the diatoms. Um, we're just looking for the ones that we're interested in. So it is a little bit tedious to, to, um, to have to look around in this slide and try to find species and when you find them and then they're covered with junk, a little disheartening, but I think at the same time, uh, when you're actually operating the scanning electron microscope, it doesn't seem like it's taking that long to do things. You just kind of get lost in, uh, in the little world that you're in trying to do what you're doing and mm -hmm. um, when you're interested in trying to find stuff and you're excited about what you're looking at, uh, I would actually argue that most of the time I want to be on the SEM more, not less. It's yeah, I keep checking the time. It goes by really fast when you're focused on this. Yeah. Let's see. So they want to know if this is specialized. Oh, it moves. Or do you all learn this on whatever course you're on? I'd what? What's the question? It, is this specialized? Uh, right here. Is this specialized or do you all? This isn't a course. This is um, research on my own time and on Eleanor's own time. And on my own time. And on your, and your own time. Well, yeah, <laughs> on, on your own time. Um, we do take a, well, I'm taking a course in it with a few other students, but I already started doing this prior and this isn't related to it, so. Well, it's related, but not... Partially related, hmm. in that you are still learning diatom taxonomy. <laughs> Who's Dr. Stone? <laughs> Dr. Stone is this yeah. one. The shadowy male voice you hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what do you all study? What do you study, Eleanor? I study geology. Yep. That's pretty specific. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a chemistry major, minoring in physics and language studies. Don't ask me something in Spanish. Something really? Right. I'm scared. Got I'm scared. It. I'm scared. He's off camera. Is it hard to schedule in scope time? Is it in demand? Um, we have a schedule over there. Yeah. It's fairly in demand. Other professors don't use it very often, so it's largely... Ew, this one is ugly. So it... Ooh, so it's largely, um, the time is dominated by Dr. Stone, but other professors use it. It's not really a big disagreement. Hey, what is up with dudes, like, they Dialogue. just don't like my major, I swear. My dad studied <laughs> this geology. This time this week. <laughs> well, what do you study, Lexio? <laughs> What's going on, huh? What are you looking at? Where you have a waiting Thank list you, of Del. years? Thank you, Dell. Thank you, Dell. Yeah, no, it, it's not like a telescope. Um, it's not like a telescope. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little quicker than that. I'm doing business management. Oh, really? Business, <laughs> business, huh? How's that going for you? <laughs> Learn a lot? Learn a lot, huh? No, it's all cool. It's cool, but I definitely <laughs> think geology is way cooler, but that's, I'm a geology major, so. What is this? Um, we are streaming, we're um, looking at sediment samples from East Africa using a scanning electron microscope. This is not COVID related, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> we don't think I'd want to be we don't, playing with this. We don't have but. access to the coronavirus I, unless it's sitting among us in, uh, in silence in, in one of it our bodies. Like <laughs> <laughs> There's a fungus among us. 
Better than looking at diatoms? I don't know. If you can make a good argument as to why business is better or more important than looking at diatoms, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> or how it's more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to hear Mr. Oh, Money talk. Set, the massacre code really, nothing new. <laughs> I mean, also... Eatsy, oh shoot. Isn't, uh... Eatsy, what is this? We're oh, on the verse. got a new follow. Oh, 74. Isn't, uh... Isn't business just that math <laughs> that we learned in third grade? <laughs> don't, don't be mean to him. I want to hear what he's got to say. I'm pretty sure business is the math I learned in third grade. It's just but, like plus but, and minus, multiplying stop, five, right? stop. No, no way. I don't remember any calculus in business. Is yeah, there I calculus take calculus. In... <laughs> you take calculus. We're just joshing you, man. Yeah, um, it's all chill. 74 diplomies. It's an internal. Internal. Yeah. Looks a bit musty, but it's fine. It'll do. Yeah, there's open set. Come on in with the math. Woo! Diffy Q. Is, is open set a business major? Open set, uh, Open set teaches, uh, he tutors math. Really? That's what he does. You know what, Eleanor? I bet if you had questions, he would be able to help you. Wait, you tutor math? Yeah. I tutor. I went to office hours today. Well. <laughs> Before you. All right, all right, all right, all right. I like that play. We need to reinvent business to take the ecosystem service into account. Yeah, TBF, I don't think I have the majority to agree that this is boring. You don't need the majority, you just need yourself. Yeah, you can have your own opinions. Mm hmm I have my own opinions. <laughs> oh. And we all get to hear them all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he does cop one, two, three. He, he does it all. A little bit much. I, could, I took Wait. Calc 2 in high school, and, uh... He's free help available to good students. I am a, I'm a good student. Isn't I'm it the bad students that need the help? <laughs> yeah, you'd think. But good students always reach out. Oh, I see. I don't think a good student needs to have good grades. They just need to apply themselves. Yeah. Mall Mallory doesn't need help with math. She's done with all that. Yeah, I finished that, uh... Almost three years ago now. Black and ease. But Eleanor, she does math all the time. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. She does it. She's literally doing her homework and, and practice problems all day. I'll be in the lab. I'll have like, I'll get five things done. She's on her 22nd math problem. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You like really want to understand calculus. I really, I really do. <laughs> if I could do calculus, I can do anything. What is the great debate when it comes to Who's been following? Training? We're not getting congratulations. Well. Oh, I'm turning into you. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. Woo -woo! Do I have to do that still? Who is it though? There's been stuff going on. Oh yeah, Did yeah. Did we just get raided? Did we get raided? Oh no, that was a while ago. Oh. Okay. Category theory. I'm blacking out. I don't know what that means. Have we got another one? KKZSS. KK Slider? Woohoo! KK Slider from Animal Crossing? Could be. My island is called Nath. It's named after a thing from, I uh, I think it's Lord of the Rings. No. Oh, Open says good students are the ones that don't miss their appointments and are willing to apply themselves. I could do that. I think that fits the, I think mm -hmm. Eleanor fits that description. Is that an ins, that's an insign emo. <laughs> and what is oh i think that's an external diplonies see it ones. is oh yay it's, got hey. some, it's not covered with junk either it's not covered it's got some is that good enough for looks you good. looks like a checkerboard okay yeah that's a cool looking diatom so i guess looks blake like a has a question yeah what's good blake he wants to know what the great debate is the great debate he wants to know whether we should have pineapples on pizzas or not Yes. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes. I was very against, like, different things, like, adding on um, things. I was very, like, just pepperoni and sausage if you're, sausage if you're feeling crazy. But I did try my grandmother's pineapple barbecue pizza. I don't like barbecue, but the pineapple was pretty good. You know what? Uh, they want to know 
you know, not necessarily how I feel about pizza, but rather the concept of, you know, like what's an a great debate among oh. diatomists similar, oh. <laughs> okay. similar to whether or not you should have pineapple on pizza or not. It's I think is what they're asking. <laughs> they're asking for a conceptual response from us, not a literal pizza-based response. Well, Pizza's you know good. what? Frankly, I'm not a fan of pineapple on pizza, but... Um, I think it's okay. I'm not going to eat it ever again. It's my favorite it was okay. pizza. <laughs> That's embarrassing, Ellen. Yeah. That's kind of my embarrassing. Favorite. You should be embarrassed about Wait, that. Is it just pineapple, or it's got to have other things? Yeah, Hawaiian. Pineapple pizza, it's the just whole... pineapple, no I, pizza, like just pineapple. I cheese, and I'll eat it. Like, I just love pineapple on my pizza. Really? That's I wild. Mean, I like pineapple. Yeah. Just not on pizza. So, I, I'd say, like, for diatoms, like... Uh, um, I'm trying to think <laughs> if there's a great debate, like, what like would they that debate sort about? of debate. The great where, debate is between me and who is it, Cromer? Where people <laughs> might fight about things. Um, you know, they're, they're, those are like little tiny taxonomic dis disagreements about things. I don't know that there's any kind of like great debate. Uh, that, you know, That'll do, that pig. We fight over that, like there's two different camps over or anything like that. I don't actually think that happens for for diatom work. Um, it's a pretty. It's pretty much we all. I think in the diatom world, everybody realizes that nobody knows what's going on, and um, <laughs> and we're pretty helpful to each other rather than wanting to fight about stuff. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, pandemic watch I sp sprinkles a <laughs> diatomous earth on her pizza like parmesan. Diatomaceous. <laughs> milk before cereal. You know, some I don't drink milk. The, I had this, I talked about this before, gross. but some people put diatomaceous earth on food and eat it. Oh, oh it's like, like a thing? Yeah. Look it up. I mean, I don't recommend it. This is not the doctor recommendation for you or anything, but people do put diatomaceous earth in their food and eat it. Milk and is... uh, not just weirdos who eat soil or, or whatever. Uh, Have you seen those My Strange Addictions, like where someone eats drywall? I can't... And then, like, you see them eat it and you're like, well, huh? Well, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, you, you kind of want to try it. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so Del says that you can't even digest it. It just passes unchanged. Yeah, I think that's pretty true. It just passes right through your system. I don't think that it actually is something that your body can digest in any way. Um, but uh, that does not stop people from, from doing it. It's our right to eat. <laughs> to eat silica. Yeah. Yeah, I think your uh, Tropical Geek is right. I think they do it for pathological reasons. Like they start doing it and then they, they think that it's helping them and then they just keep doing it, even though it doesn't really seem to have any real benefit. Mm. Um, but it also doesn't harm them, so, you know, it's like, you know, who, who's, uh, it's just costing them a little bit of extra money to buy some crunched up diatomite. What's the big deal? Dynamite. Here's a picture. Uh, uh, What's it a picture uh, of? It, yeah. That's what it we have like. some in the lab. It's in, a, it's in a block chunk. Diatomite? Yeah. We have a block chunk of it. Of course. And if it's neutral, then meh. Yeah. Some things are just for fun, like cotton candy. Does cotton candy have any health benefits? No. <laughs> are you it's, sure about it's that? Got sugar. <laughs> yeah. What if you put it on your pop tarts? That'd be gross, dude. Too much sugar. I think pop tarts are like my max sugar right now. What is this, number three? Stall on 74. External view. Yeah, Pacific Plankton says it has calories. Oh. Really? So that means it's good. He's <laughs> <laughs> on a pop tart. Del says it's a pretty diatom. Thank you. It's you the same it one we just saw, but it's. This diatom probably doesn't have a name yet. Maybe. Mm, if a diatom had flavor, what would it taste like? A uh, chalk. <laughs> Maybe. If they had flavor. No, rotate. I if feel like they it would flavor. be like a like a sweet tart. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Why? Why a sweet tart of all yeah, things? You know, it's kind of chalky. 
but then it's got like the texture. You sound there. like the person who'd eat drywall. <laughs> don't judge her for eating What's drywall. It? I don't eat drywall. <laughs> Eleanor, Eleanor, why do you eat drywall? I don't. Eleanor. That's a little weird. How many times did I tell you about eating drywall? <laughs> it's like eating toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's probably not described yet, Phil. I have fun, fun, fun. Now that all the hard work work is done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you feel good about it, then go ahead and eat diet, Tom. Eleanor, I heard you were eating. Oh drywall. my god! No, I no do not eat shave. drywall. <laughs> no kink shaving is so nasty. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Eleanor actually eats drywall. Um, it's a football. Football. Mama Bonbon bon said your diet, Tom, looked like a football. It hmm. did. Yeah. It is football shaped. Drier than crackers. <laughs> Are there low calorie diatoms or diet diatoms? Um, yeah, they're called diatom zero. I don't think you, you get any calories out of diatoms because it's just silica. I don't yeah. think it adds any calories. Unless it was all. alive and maybe you ate the cell, maybe. then it would be extremely minimal. Maybe yeah. you gotta eat them like a yeah, bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blinkster, Blinkster says no kink shaming. Oh, Wait. Well, if you want to eat drywall, you should. You just need to be able to incinerate it Diet and get some tums. energy from oh, it. Oh, oh. Diatoms. It was a joke. Diatoms. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like actually building tongue twisters. That's a game that I play frequently. The tip of the teeth, the tongue, the lips. The tip of the teeth, the tongue, the lips. You make a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot. You make a proper <laughs> cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot. <laughs> Coffee. coffee pot. You make a proper cup of coffee in a coffee. Nope. In a copper coffee. <laughs> oh my goodness! Somebody can't do it. <laughs> That's the point. It's a tongue twister. You, you make a proper. Like you make a proper cup of coffee in a copper cup of pot. You didn't even say it right. I did say it right. You make a proper cup of coffee in a copper cup. Coffee Co pot. Why do I want to say coffee? Yeah. These are both navicula. Don't yuck other people's yums. Dr. Stone, these are both See, navicula, says yes. He has a tongue no, not navicula, it's hyena. hyena. Triple bulbed diatom, yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, Del's challenging you to a tongue twister off. Oh, really? Yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Uh, she sells seashells right. by the seashore. I did say it right. Hey, oh, Blinkster no, knows what's what up. Says. He said, if you scanned a particle from asteroid venue using the scope, what would you expect to see? What? I believe we're taking, or NASA's taking a sample from asteroid venue today. A bit? I don't so know. They got to scan it first, then I can tell you what they see. Are that thing on there? They're going to, like, so it's here. They're going to just bounce Seven off of it. Seven silver slime. Take a sample while they bounce. Picky people yeah. pick Peter Pan peanut butter. Peter it's Pan exciting. peanut butter is the peanut butter picky people pick. Yeah. I can do that it's one. It's already on the way here. They did it. Cool. Well, how about I they analyze it, and then I'll tell you exactly what it's I don't know where Dell is, but I think it was supposed to be live from where we're at, like, 5 p.m. I think that's why I saw on Instagram for their live stream. Of the They're venue. live streaming this? No, the venue. They're yeah. live streaming from my SCM on NASA? No, not this. <laughs> like I am I am in NASA zero stream. gravity. <laughs> not on Twitch. I don't think it's even on oh, Twitch. Oh, another no. one. I'm oh. just too good. God. Uh, is it the same one? No. <laughs> they said alien diatoms. Another football. Oh, they already did the intercepts. Man, You're I've been studying behind. calculus too long, you know? I don't know what's going on yeah, in the Yeah, she doesn't world. know about space. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Blinkster says the intercept took place. Okay. Fantastic. I don't know if there's any microbes on that asteroid, but... I suspect it's full of water bears. Why would it be full of water bears? I don't know, because every piece of lichen and moss I look at doesn't have any, so I'm assuming they're all on some <laughs> asteroid somewhere else. Yeah, so. why? They must not like you. Yeah. That's probably the problem. We'll get the sample in three years. Three years? I can't wait that long. I can barely <laughs> wait eight minutes. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Dill says, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one who can't find water bears. <laughs> Open sets found some. Open set, show your secrets with the class. 
Is y'all uni planning to end after? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, we go online for We go online to. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should leave out some honey pots or picnic baskets. I think they're pronounced <laughs> picnic baskets when it's honey bears. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> oh, and then we don't have spring break anymore, which I understand, but I'm still a little a little sad about because we don't have any breaks and they're not gonna i know my professors aren't gonna give me any breaks Let's see pacific plankton said to look on wood with lichen yeah that's what i do <laughs> i have a whole bunch of tree bark with lichen growing on it and what did i find some creepy <laughs> black springtail creatures yeah. and then, Ooh, there. what do they mean by the eight minutes that's oddly specific mallory Oh, yeah, because I said I can't even wait eight minutes. Uh, it's because the next, the next like, the higher definition picture is speed eight, and it takes, like, eight boo -boo. minutes, eight-ish minutes, and I hate it so much. I would throw a big fit every time. i go, like, <sighs> it was the whole thing. Yeah, Seven trash minutes. bugs. Trash bugs. Trash bugs are cool. That should be your nickname. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It has a ring to it. Trash what bug. What are you trying to say? About trash me? bug. What are you trying to say? Trash bug. What was? Wait, I had a nickname for a very short period of time. What was it? Marsh Mallory. No, oh, that was a long good. time for when I was younger. That's what, that's my what it says on my phone when you send me a text message. Really? <laughs> yeah. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they want to know look. why half the screen is black. It's loading. Is oh, it's it's it, yeah. the the beam is scanning very slowly. Yeah. Oh my god. Why doesn't Sylvie know me? Is that huh? Ooh, new band name: Trash Bugs. Trash Bugs. LinkedIn. We talked about starting a band and with our lab group. Lab meeting? No. <laughs> His nickname is the Stone. Like the Dwayne Johnson is the Rock. <laughs> uh, yes. What did we have a nickname for you? It was it was very short lived. It was while Jordan was still here because Jordan thought it was hilarious. Huh. Forget what it is. If you don't remember, then it's not important, huh? Well, it depends on how embarrassing it is for you, because it has varying levels of importance based on that. Mostly. Yeah. See, so they want to know I how know close the lens is to the sample. Oh, right now it's about nine point eight millimeters. That's how far away the beam is from the sample. It reminds me of pie crust. I don't. You know how it kind of. Can I see off. how far away the camera is? Pie the, crust. The camera. Mhm. Mm oh, not the camera. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, the beam of electrons is nine point eight millimeters. Nine point eight two three millimeters, actually. Yeah, I mean, there's not really a camera. Uh, we Gotta can get lurk. the sample close to the <laughs> BRB. to the source. We can move the sample closer, but we can't really. There's no camera uh, with the scanning electron microscope. The you know cameras are for light, so it builds the image by electrons that are uh, captured in the chamber and a little photosensor that lights up and has different levels of intensity based on how many electrons are captured. So the whole yeah, concept yeah, yeah, of like yeah, a camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not really a camera, um, although it functions a little bit like a camera. Um, normally I'd be able to show you what that looks like inside the chamber, but, um, but the sample gets like sort of closer and more distant from it uh, by tilting the stage towards it or by moving the um, material a little bit closer towards the uh, electron beam, which comes out of a cone at the top. And that distance is the one that Mallory read you. We're about nine millimeters mm -hmm. from from the uh, the beam. <gasps> hey, yeah, I know that oh. one. Oh, hello! It's a beautiful little. Oh, it's covered. It's a beautiful baby boy. Look at it. It's just covered. Are you kidding me right now, dude? Can't even see any. Of the, I can't focus on the holes. because your beam intensity is 10? I think it's because it's covered in clay. It could also be that. I'm pretty sure it's that. Oh, they want to know what year of uni we're in. I'm a junior, so year three. Uni? 
This is my, uh, oh. I think, 32nd year. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first semester. Uni. I love it when, I love it when people, um... Maybe it's the 31st year. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. I love it when people from other countries call it uni. It's so cute. Like unicorn? Just the way they say it. Do you go to uni? They don't sound like that. I'm so sorry to everyone in the chat. <laughs> I promise I can do a better British accent. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna get Guillotine Girl in here and make her say it. Is she <laughs> British? I think she's originally British. Mm. She doesn't live in, uh, I think she lives in California or something now. Whenever I think of British people, I always think of, <laughs> I always think <laughs> of when Drake or Malfoy says, Potter. What? You watch Harry Potter. What's Harry Potter? Stop it. What? <laughs> I don't want to play this game today, dude. <laughs> no, dude, seriously, I've never heard of it. What house are you, Mallory? What house do you think I am? Slytherin. I'm going to go with Gryffindor. <laughs> what? 100% Slytherin. <laughs> Why is Slytherin? I already looked at the other side. Not that Slytherin's bad if anyone's Slytherin. Okay, I'm going to go to two. What are you looking at? I'm trying to get out of your way so you can see the board. Oh, I was like, what? My head's where you're trying to get around. <laughs> whoa, whoa! This is a sample that's got all the cool stuff on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I w I, when I take all my tests, I come across as either a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin, so. Uh, uh, and you thought I was joking. <laughs> She's evil to the core. Well, they're not evil, they're lunch, cunning. So. <laughs> cunning. Yeah, cunning and... Everybody associates cunning with nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't often get Gryffindor. I think that's cute that you have that image of me in your head. Well, I'm Gryffindor, and we're friends, so I thought it would make sense. You can't... Well, you can't be friends with a Slytherin? Well, no, you can. I, gonna... I don't think you likely. can. Well... I don't think we can be friends anymore, Mal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you? I don't know. You know, you're a Ravenclaw for sure. I don't know what these stupid houses are about. Then how did you know to say Slytherin? Because I knew they're the bad guys. <laughs> and I associate you with the bad guys. Because <laughs> you're cruel. I'm cruel? Yeah. Name one time, name one time, name one time. Uh, uh -oh. I don't think you want me to go into it. <laughs> This one's got garbage on it, but I'm gonna take a picture anyway because I should. think it's a cutie. Let's get over. Once you figure out how to get it centered. Listen, my brain struggles to comprehend this part. You had it and then you moved it off of it for some reason. There, there we go. go, there we go, but there we go. <laughs> what do you guys think the UK is like? Gray. <laughs> uh, it's pretty gray here, so I'm. <laughs> a lot of. Sausages? I don't sausages. I think that maybe for Germany. It's illegal to befriend the enemy. <laughs> Bye Pacific Plankton. Uh oh. Can't Back you tweak leaving. the beam intensity to focus? Um I already turned the beam intensity down. Yeah, it looks cloudy right now. Don't worry, don't worry guys. I got it, I got it. No, I think he was answering the UK thing maybe. Oh. Or not. I don't know what he was Oh oh cloudy. Oh, <laughs> The UK is always gray as it sits between two yeah. systems. Thanks, huh. um, um, Emilio. I don't know what that means. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> you are such a That's Taurus. Cool. You have a perfect oh. one. We got uh, cheers. Who cheered? From Jewel Jewel. Thanks, Jewel Jewel, for the cheers. I love Ooh. when people cheer. And they said hello from French. Oh, hello, French. I don't think French is a place. Well, I well maybe it's a person like a like if they have a French bulldog. Maybe they or meant something. France, but they just said French. Maybe they meant from the French. Oh, the, you are the representative for the French as a whole. Yeah, interesting. Cool. French Alps. Blinkster says the UK is always gray and sits between two systems. What does that even mean? Oh, weather systems. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's kind of gray. I you guys have really nice accents though. 
it's okay. It reminds me of One Direction. <laughs> Actually, the, the UK is just um, One Direction. Um, uh, it, that's, they're the only people that live there. Everyone else is kind of like, not real. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, believe you're dissing my country. I'm not dissing your country. I am. <laughs> you know, if I'm, you know. Actually, I've never been to England. You haven't? No, I'd like to go. Why did I say that like I'd been <laughs> No, there's a trip that people go on, so yeah. I might go on it with Dr. Bollinger. <laughs> Trips. <laughs> Trips. You think that's going to happen? <laughs> no. We're just going to ignore the pandemic and go for a trip. I'm pretending like I can do it so I can get my study abroad experience in and I don't have to take two extra honors courses. Uh, I think you're going to have to study abroad through Zoom. God. I don't even have to study, I just have to go abroad. I don't think it's going to happen. I know, I know. They sent out a warning to us uh, just this week that people from grad students that are international students in our program can't go home over a break because if they leave the country they probably will not be able to get back in. Nice. So... So that sucks. I don't see that as like uh, you're going to be able to go on a trip anytime soon. But I can close my eyes and pretend. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a banana. It's Ephrosimbella. It's this like a banana. Ephrosimbella Afrosim gracilis. A well-known diatom banana. Dude, you know what we could start making? We could start making hammocks, but with that print on the outside. <laughs> Stop being so negative, whoever that is. Yeah, Dr. Stone. I'm sick of the negativity. I am being practical. He, he's pre's negative all the time. I say, <laughs> I say, Dr. Stone, I'm gonna do something. Oh, look, he typed nothing in. For it's okay. <laughs> it's named nothing. <laughs> File is blank dot blank. Every time I say, Dr. Stone, I'm going to um, do a thing. He's like, well. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm That's highly supportive of everything you'd like to do, Mallory. Like what? Name one thing. Name one thing. Name well, one thing. you have to tell me what it is, the thing that you want to do. I want to start a business. I think you should start a business. Who's the business major? I uh, think that's luck. Show yourself. The UK people. Show yourself. I'm going to start a business. I think you should start a business. I oh, think you'd be great God. at it. Really? Yeah, because I think that you have a firm grasp on money uh, math from third grade okay <laughs> plus and minus multiply divide you know all of it <laughs> jokes on you that's what i forgot <laughs> ew look at that little you're great thing. at it it's like a grimy little thing in front of it i like that uh that didn't help at all like there's like I a little layer of something on top of it with their math homework last night you did? Oh, really? <laughs> Who did you help? Did you give them some extra fingers or toes to count on, or what? <laughs> no, I was just like, here you go. Extra fingers or toes. Jesus. So I can do that kind of math. We're getting somewhere. Cut the guy I some slack. Like, <laughs> no, can you imagine me with a business? Can you imagine? I think you'd be great at business. Yeah? Listen, um, I'm going to start a business. What kind of business are we thinking I'm about? I'm thinking of, like, making a website yeah. where if you have any question, you can ask it, and it'll answer it. And it'll, like, look those. from, like, a database of, like, answers. I think they have those. Or, like, places that'll lead you to a different website where you could find the answers. How good are you at programming? I'm fantastic at it. Well, then I think you're well-suited for this I business. could say, do it in my... Um, I could program anywhere, like, you know, at a, at a place of business, in a, in a, in Sinema. I know, in a Harvard dorm room, um, I could, I could make a movie out of it, they call it like the social, uh, the social, uh, <laughs> the social network. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. I, <laughs> Mallory that, Mark, I'll what, change my is name. It, is it? Was it right this there? This one? No. Yep. Diplonies. No, Cockneys. No, uh, I think it's a great idea. Yeah? And I don't know how I could tell you any more vocally that I support that. Okay. Good. And you don't think it's uh, been done before? Um, we have a, a thing 
in the chat we probably should get rid of. What is it? It's um by Stephens Four. Wow, that's really funny. Yeah, no, uh, people who call me Mark, um, just like as a shortened version of my name. What's in Ennis? That's a good <laughs> question. Hello, oh, hey Dangling, I right missed here. you. I missed you very dearly. Um, it's not the same without you. And sign me. Wait, no, Did it's you not. you have moderated status, Eleanor? What does uh, that mean? On my computer, she does. She could go into mod view, but I don't think oh. she knows oh. how to do it. Right next to the uh, the name, there's like a little set of icons, and one of them's a trash bin. Oh, okay. What you do is just click on the trash bin next to somebody's comment, and it throws the person in the trash where they belong. <laughs> Did you ban them? No. Should have. I like to challenge them to keep posting dumb stuff so I can keep having something to do. I don't believe in forgiveness. <laughs> I don't believe in forgiveness. Oh my god. One strike, then you get the boot. They brought up the drywall. That is a Nash Nico lyric. Yeah. Um. You wish, you wish I miss you. Bum, bum, How bum, you doing, Dangling? What have you been up to? Could that be Tanganyike? Yes. It could. Ah. We're focused. Oh wait, zoom back in on it. I don't think so. I think that's just a normal dump anima. Cockanese. Hey, Dirty Smith, how's it going? You got your Look stuff set this. up to stream yet? I haven't seen you streaming. Disgusting. Cockneys. This a Ropalodia. Yes, that's a Ropalodia. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Cockneys. And Sinema. Oh, you're like me. Now you can just move right through the slides. Are and these take them all out. sponge spicules? No. Or zoom in on it. Are they. Zoom. Enhance. Enhance. Oh, we have a question for Dr. Stone. That's a Nitzia. Do you drink tea? Yes. Ew. Is that the British one? Yep. Yeah. Figures. Uh. And Dingling D has been playing Sims. Oh. Have you been playing my character? What have I done? Have I married yet? You know Please what? say yes. Dangling, why don't you stream <laughs> the Sims so we can see Mallory in your game? Yeah, you don't have to talk or anything. It can just be silent, or you can play some nice music in the background. I have some suggestions. There's a band called BTS. Do you know them? Uh, they have <laughs> they have emotes on here apparently. Um, love to see them. Oh, you want to see them? <laughs> I'm kidding. Here's one, and here's another. You have a? That's exciting. Those are the K-pop emotes. Here's another one. What? I got a little K-pop. I don't know what any balloon. of those mean. Bruh, go away with the <laughs> BTS fam. No. Oh man. There's I think we be a could... BTS fight between you and Dan. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about them except for their name. I just like their music a lot. It's weird because I feel like people they're either like super fans and they know everything about them. Oh, Diplonies. Or they, like, don't know anything about them. And they just... You're either, like... You either think that K-pop is super stupid or you know BTS's blood type. I don't understand why there aren't more people in the middle. It's so weird. Oh, uh, she said black pink. I don't know if Black you know, pink? So. Oh, you're a blank? Yeah, I know a couple things. Uh, I don't drink tea. Do both the students? I don't drink tea. I only drink water and and Capri Sun. <laughs> Sometimes a lot of Capri Sun. Sometimes <laughs> apple juice. It's a hard life, man. Sometimes I just gotta slow down and pretend like I'm eight years old. She does get pretty drunk on Capri Sun, though. I do. I do. Baby metal. I watched Baby Metal once when I was twelve. When I like first went on the internet wasn't for me but i appreciate the aesthetic kind of like 21 <laughs> is the correct age for drinking yeah. in the u.s which eleanor has not reached it is yeah. I, I don't drink yeah not my thing yeah i don't drink either and i'm way past 21 yeah well occasionally but 
You drink you dr uh, at Christmas there was Christmas that party. mold wine. Yeah. Mold wine, a little mead. <laughs> oh, let's see. It was like Yugyon. a bard. <laughs> like a bard, yeah. She said, I'm down, Dr. Stone. I just need to get some CC. I haven't actually worked on Mallory. I've only done the house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you drink the Capri Sun fully liquid or do you go to the partially frozen style? Mm. I um It's a critical question, you better get right. Well, I, I mean, I know put them in the freezer. I mean, sometimes I've drank them cold, but I just drink them did, did it, as liquid. I don't know. Why is it sideways? Did it, oh. Oh, I just zoomed in. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, what? Uh-oh. Who would drink it half frozen? So you admit you drink Capri Suns. Yeah. See, Jan thinks meat is awesome. Jan, where's Jan from again? How did you forget already? Do you have any idea how short my memory is? I do not remember what we talked about five minutes ago. It's gone. CC equals custom content, in case y'all don't know. I didn't. Oh, yeah, I didn't. What's a Capri Sun? What? What do you... Do you not drink anything cold? They probably don't have them over in England. Oh. They don't it's have like fridges a, over there. They're still it's like a watered down <laughs> juice box, but it's pretty good. It's, it's just so juice. sugar. It's so it's sugary. like sugary juice concentrate. Yeah. You know, if you drink too many, you actually get disgusted with yourself, so... <laughs> they're, they're really designed to go in kids' lunchboxes. <laughs> yeah, they're for, like, kids. Uh, like, they're, like, in space-age packaging. Yeah. And, uh... The kids love them. Like, Mallory? <laughs> I mommy packs it in her lunch every day. <laughs> I subsist off of a, a lean diet of <laughs> spaghetti... Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, french fries. They gotta be the dino shaped chicken Turkey nuggets, and though. cheese sandwiches. See, Jean said his country is famous for beer, chocolate, and diamonds. That should be a clue as to which one it is. It's the Wu Tang of beverages. I don't think it's Chocolate makes me think of hot chocolate, chocolate which Mon Montezuma ate. Drank eight, drank like one cup of hot chocolate a day. Dirty Smith was just bringing up the Wu Tang because you don't know who the Wu Tang is. I don't, but I know who Run the Jewels is. Jan, where are you from? Eleanor, do you know the Wu-Tang Clan? Wu-Tang is forever. What is, who, the Blanksters? I, I love my juice rap pouches. Rap oh, it's a rap Wu-Tang. Oh, oh Belgium. Belgium. You think you're known for chocolate in Belgium? Yeah. Belgium's are. known for chocolate. And beer. Do I? Oh, Belgian chocolate. I didn't know about I knew the that. Diamonds, I knew that. This is an internal... God. Dipping. Are you putting it in the right folder, or are you putting it all in the same folder? Shit. It's okay, we won't. It's okay, look, I'll just keep them in there, and... Sorry. We won't know which stuff they came That's okay, from. that's okay. Well, I put the label on them correctly. Oh, okay. Uh, I almost put beam intensity zero. Yeah, that's probably not great. What did, what happened? Just wondering. I, I can go for a hot chocolate right now, though. I don't like warm drinks. I only drank the mold wine. I didn't drink it. Um, she didn't like it. I didn't. I, t I just, like, stuck my tongue into it, and I was like, not for me. Yeah, that's what my little daughter does, too, when she tries to taste stuff. She just touches it with her tongue. Sylvia I don't like I... tacos. I tasted it. It's like, <laughs> If yeah. I come over, if I come over, I will trick her into eating tacos. Yeah, I don't think that you tasted it when you touched it with your tongue. Oh, that's What's an that ensignema, I think. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There should be a uh, oh, oh, right there. Whoa, 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 that whoa, whoa. is Mueller. No, that's Gracilis. Yeah. Too Do big. you want a picture? What's the last name? He's not here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Shouldn't you help him, <laughs> Sean? How am I supposed to know where Sean is? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's because you're so far zoomed out. Mm, they want to know when no, you lick I can batteries, still see him. are they just licking electrons? Say what? Uh, you're probably licking like... Later, nerds. I got lessons to plan. Okay, Blinkster. Later. Bye. You're not licking electrons. You're licking... Well, hopefully it's not like corroded. I think maybe you shouldn't <laughs> be licking batteries. Yeah. I don't think that's the user recommended settings for batteries settings yeah i think maybe the user recommended settings for batteries is they go in electrical devices 
But if you were to, like, a battery, um, just, you know, let us know in advance. That's a nice yeah. thing. My recommendation is you just take a couple of licks and then eat some diatomite. My recommendation is that you... And then some drywall. <laughs> Charge yourself up. <laughs> turn your turn yourself into a battery. <laughs> be the human battery I know you can be. <laughs> do, 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 oh. do. We already take a picture of that one. It, but you're so zoomed out. There's little ones in there that you won't be able to see. <laughs> See, they said if you're gonna lick batteries, do it properly and lick a car battery. Look at this. Oh, that's yeah, the one that I that saw. One. <laughs> a car battery. Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna eat drywall, you should eat the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. oh that girdle band. God, that one would have been oh, perfect. There's, what's that right next to it? Buried Oops. under the schmutz. Oh, it looks like skinny guy. It looks like, look skinny like a guy. Smella, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't think you want to take that. Picture. I don't. I'm not going to. I'm just looking at it. Oh yo yo! Look, that would have been perfect. God. Lick beta rays. I don't know who that is. Who's Ray? Uh, I know everyone I think loves they him. They mean like gamma, beta, alpha, as in you know radiation particles. Guys, I'm gonna ask y'all a a big question. Was Seinfeld funny? You don't think so? I didn't think so. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Excuse me? Stingrays taste better, yeah. Stingrays? I cut open a stingray once. Why? Uh, I had to dissect it for biology. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us, like, you know... Zoology. Bitch gave me the sad eye, I had to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> no soup for uh, you. No. no soup for you. I the was sea was angry doing... that day, my friend. Like an old man trying to return from. soup to the deli. I think it's funny when foreigners, they always think of, like, America as basically just the state of Texas. <laughs> like we are. The accent. Every place yeah. is Texas. We stream from Indiana, though. They either think we're in Texas, L.A., or New York. And then they're like, oh, I've heard of Chicago. That's like New York, isn't it? I'm like, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much you want to get into it. It's just like it. Yeah, Chicago and New York, same thing. Same exact thing. It's a suburb. Yeah, but we're from Indiana, which is like in the middle. There's nothing there. Don't worry. <laughs> there's like nothing. <laughs> I kind of like that there's nothing. It's like I don't exist in the real world. Sad. <laughs> he said he's yes. never heard this, of it. That's a cockanese. Mm -hmm. right. When am I wrong? Usually. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Oh. That would have been perfect. I'm sick of it. Is that just an outline? Yes. It's, I've Are just seen... Sure? Yeah, it's just girdle bands. It's the same as the last one. Uh, Pissing me off. Uh, Why did they... They, like, jump out of their bones, dude. Never heard of it. Where are you from? <laughs> yeah, where are you... What city, huh? <laughs> where in England are you from? Which state? <laughs> <laughs> Which state in England are you from? Sometimes I feel like people in Europe... Manchester, they, I have heard of that one. Never heard of it. Manchester? <laughs> Don't you guys have a soccer team? Didn't you guys have they the have Beatles? They have a good soccer team, I think. Dude, why do you know Beatles facts? I like the Beatles. You like the Beatles, but you don't I like do. Seinfeld? Yeah. Interesting. How are those related? I don't know. They're gonna have fun in the sun. Hold on, I'm gonna go Beatles right back. From. I'm just joshing. Oh, that's a side view. Interesting. The Beatles were from Liverpool. I don't. That is not a fact that I find necessary. The Beatles were okay. The Beatles were okay. What? <laughs> yeah, so so. The Beatles were okay. <laughs> They're no BTS though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> BTS could do Here Comes the Sun, but the Beatles couldn't do... <laughs> the Beatles couldn't do Dionysus. <laughs> yeah, I know who Manchester United is. But I like soccer. Yeah, that's a soccer team. Yeah, that's why I said the soccer team. I know about that. I've seen, like, two soccer games. They play games. the... The, uh, the sport. They do. They do that occasionally. <laughs> soccer. That's what you guys call it over there, right? 
soccer. Yeah, you guys like soccer. Oh, yeah, you guys like soccer. soccer. <laughs> you like soccer. 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 And then Quan sent just a emoji of salt. Yeah. It's beetles. Spelling counts. Oh, foosball. It is sort of a pun, I think. Foosball. <laughs> Uh, Beatles, um, last I heard, Beatles was spelled B-E-E-T-L-E-S, um. I think it's a pun. Interesting that you'd spell it. Do they spell it like football? For some reason I thought it was spelled with a U and an O. There were also Beatles, Beatles in Liverpool, Chile. No, we call it football where our foot hits the ball. Oh. Yeah, we call it soccer where we sock each other in the earth. <laughs> what do you, what did you want? There's nothing here. Are you sure? Yeah, that's an ensign Yeah. That's a Ripolodia. Keep going. Lots of Nitzia. Ah, Biggin. I like how Sun and Sinema are just like blown up versions of other ones. That's an Ensinema. What's that one? Pugnace? Yes. Oh, yes. Da, 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 da. Well, we didn't just struggle to find diatoms at least. I don't think. Well, you're disfigured, whatever you are. It's funny because, you know, when I would prepare samples, we could find Afro Symbello like crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, though, right? Football is so much bigger than the NFL, you can't even claim the word football. Joke's on you, I don't care about either one. Oh, did you just pass one? No. Oh, they want us to make uh, diatom themed pizzas. Okay. Since they already. Fantastic. The uh, shape. We're already on it. Um, yeah, there's circles already. Circles, yeah. Yeah, we could put the circle ones on for pepperoni. We just need to find the pineapple shaped one. Yeah. Look how, I like how it looks like it's got sticky stuff. I think actually there is a pineapple shaped diatom. Like a spider. Like web. a slice of pineapple. Or like a pineapple. You know, wedge. A wedge, yeah. Mm, they said diatominoes. 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 I like it. It's your that's, business, that's, You should have called... That's my business. My business <laughs> that's going to be Mallory's new business. Donna and the dynamos. You get your <laughs> diatom anxious pizza. Whoa. Oh, that's a big one. What are you? That's definitely an Afro Cinderella. You know what? That's not what I think it is, is it? It's too skinny. It doesn't have the right shape. But this is one I actually am questioning whether it is an Afro Symbella. We need a picture of it. Okay. This and I can do. And also the central area. This I can do. If you can get a nice... Uh, uh, ugly. With the... Uh, with the uh, Rafi ends very clearly, hopefully. You want the Rafi ends very... Well, I'll, I'll just... I'll do that again when I get to the close-up I said, is there no way to rotate the beam head? There, you rotate the stage, you don't rotate the beam. Yeah, you can rotate the stage around, and you can also tilt the stage. Uh, we can't do it right now. Yeah, we yeah. really can't do it right now, because the camera that you use to look into the chamber isn't working correctly. We're living on the edge. Um, but you can rotate the image around by rotating the stage that we're looking at. So. We actually kind of want it in the position that it's in, more or less. Um, maybe a little bit. Mm, Rotate a little bit clockwise. Negative 10. There we Too go. Far? No, that's good. We sort of want it to be diagonal because you can get the largest image, you know, uh, size for the diatom blown up to its maximum dimensions. Yeah, the uh, the Tescan uh, Vega 3, which is the scanning electron microscope that we have, has a, um, uh, it, it does the math for you. It actually will calculate where you would need to be. So you can see uh, there's, there's seven individual stubs inside the scanning electron microscope. It's done. Um, 
that, uh, that we could look at at one time, and they're on a carousel, and it will actually calculate on the carousel where we should be if we rotate the stage around a given point and reposition the stage so um, that when you rotate it, it doesn't just rotate out of the field of view. It actually turns the stage and then repositions the stage to project where that would be. So it's actually really clever. And um, uh, on the old-fashioned microscopes for scanning electron microscopes, in order to do that, you would have to rotate it and then basically reposition it a little bit at a time and continually reposition it until you could get it more or less where you were uh, or aiming to be with it. Whereas with, uh, with this one, basically, it's just one click. You tell it what angle you want to be at, and it does all the math for you and rotates it around to the position that um, the, so the sample doesn't basically get lost. You can set it as an option to not do that, but we always have it set as an option to, to do that so that we can easily rotate the samples. And it does back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty clever design. And actually, when we were trying to pick out which scanning electron microscope we wanted, it's one of the things that sold me on it. Um, at some point in the future, I might do a, uh, a stream where I show you that we can build 3D models from diatoms. And um, the, the approach that we used to do it is basically just taking pictures from many, many different directions and angles. I get and, that. Um, and then using photogrammetry photogrammetry techniques to basically build a three-dimensional model the same way Google Earth builds a three-dimensional topography. And um, so it's a, pr it's a pretty nifty deal. And it's okay. actually how this uh, Stefan Viscus model that we have was built. So it was built by taking about 80 different pictures of the diatom from different angles and then um, using photogrammetry techniques to, to convert it into a 3D model. Dell wants a diatom ocarina. I bet different diatoms would have different timber and tone. It does look a little bit like an ocarina. Uh, I don't know how to carve. Or I would make you one, Dell. <laughs> what are you doing? That's macarena. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just reminded me. Dude. I... You don't know what an ocarina is? I know what an ocarina is. Oh, okay. Do you hold it like this or do you hold it like It'd be like this, right? I don't know. No. I don't recommend you consider holding that I, position. I know. Towards the camera. I know who can make it. Oh, you do? Really? Mm. Need a music nerd? <laughs> well, you came to the right place. Um, Dr. Stone is a big nerd. And he made a, uh, a, a, a little noisemaker. What is this? Maker. Can you do one where we're just zoomed in on the central area and yeah, also the pole? Yes, 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 I can do. Uh, let me make sure to get this one in focus. So, one of the things that separates Aphrodis and Bella from other diatoms of similar nature is supposed to be that the stigma, which is the little um, thing that's right here in the image, uh, an opening in the central area, is supposed to be slit shaped. And that's actually what the shape of this one is. But previously, this has never been described as a Aphrodis and Bella. This is a, this is a Gomphonema, at least as it's named currently. And that I makes sense, because it's got a little I think it actually might belong in Aphrodisimbella. And I know the person who named this diatom. Is it who I think it is? I don't know. Who do you think it is? Cromer? No. No. Oh. It's Pat Kaselik. And. Um, Kaseliki? Yeah, from the famous Aphrodisimbella Kaseliki. Mm -hmm. And um, I published a paper with Pat earlier this year. So, and he wants to, to uh, work on these Gomphonemas uh, from Africa a little bit with me and Itzi, but. I'm really curious as to whether he thinks this might actually belong in Aphrodisimbella or not, whether people have looked closely at it in the scanning electron microscope or not. I'm scaring them. Were you scared, Eleanor? What? Were you scared by my eyes? No. I went, oh. I'm pretty 
pretty brave, though. You are pretty brave. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Tom Selleck? Yes. Tom Selleck is actually a close friend of mine. Hey, where'd all the Brits go? I don't know. That's a good question. I miss them. Do you? Oh, they're here. Aw, okay, I missed you. Some of my greatest friendships on here have started with an argument. Tropical Geek, Mika, can't think of any others. Dangling. Dangling. <laughs> Look at that. You're trying to argue, oh, between the US and the UK, who's better? Yeah, Were you trying to figure out who's the worst? Because I'm willing to throw the US right there. If you'd like. I think we both have you our flaws. argue the opposite direction? Like, well, we can, we can argue again on November 3rd. Then right. we'll, on November, actually, November Pretty 4th. Pretty confident can, right now uh, we're worse. Maybe we'll be a little better. <laughs> maybe have not. we all voted, though? I know exactly who's the I stupidest. The UK. Now? Oh, I voted. I sent I in my absentee vote. I already voted. Yeah, I already voted. Mm. I voted for the first time this year. I'm proud of you. I'm excited. Good job for doing your civic duty. You know, I'm glad you voted. I'm hoping there's a big, uh, a lot larger uh, youth turnout. Yeah. It was so cool, though, when you're young and you go to vote, because they, like, they give you stickers. I got, like, six stickers. That's why it's cool? It was amazing. It's cool because the stickers. No, it was, like, an unexpected benefit. Oh. I was like, man, I they're all really nice. They're like, oh, you're yeah. voting. I didn't get a sticker. Um, I just sent in my envelope and... The mailbox made a noise when I closed it, so it's almost like it congratulated me. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like his mustache. I don't know. I, I like living here. It's going to take forever to count votes this year, probably. A uh, air freshener. Okay. Mal, uh, confident to even say by the 4th. Yeah, I'll give it uh, another month, and then maybe a military coup after that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Central nodule. I'm sorry. Um, Apical pork field. Yes. Let's see which side's it on. It's a, up. It's that way. Please don't. Oh, it's covered uh, in schmutz. Junk. You want me to get the other one? Uh, not really. Okay. No. Try to find another one like this. Can't wear the internal or external, so that we can image what it looks like on the outside. Yes, sir. It's nice and big, we ought to be able to find them. Yeah. I like this, uh... I like this color. Color? The contrast, sorry. There's no color, it's it's not an image. Stigma. I know someone uh, who voted from a Japanese embassy in Japan and even they got an I voted badge. I know, unbelievable that I wouldn't get. Rude. <sighs> yeah, the color. <laughs> You know, it's surprising how uh, your brain starts to think of it as being in color, even though it's clearly yeah. black and white. I don't, well, you I don't know. fault you for that at all. I often think the same way. Like, the contrast starts to actually... It looks appealing to my eyes. I don't know. Do diatoms have color, though? No. Nope. Silica, yeah. they're like glass. Yep, they're made out of silica, which is see-through, but their pigments actually do have a color, so the living diatoms have a golden brown they're color. green. No. Yeah. Golden brown. Green. Golden brown. I know oh. they're golden brown. That wasn't one, was it? No, but there's a Caparta grandma. Caparta grandma. Who's grandma? Caparta. <laughs> that one's not. It's got schmutz Are on. It's not worth it, but it's like cute. This, or was that an individual anomaly? Uh, stigmas are usually just shaped like a hole. Um, just a simple pore. That's a rope But on the inside of the valve, sometimes they have uh, different shapes. And for... Um, Gonfanema and Aphrocymbella, which are closely related, their stigmoids, or stigma, are actually uh, um, one, of the, one of the tools that they use to separate them. So normally for, for Gonfanema, at least in the strictest sense, their stigmoids mm -hmm. are just little simple openings, little pores, that are typically just round, or rounded. And for Aphrocymbella, they're usually sort of like a dash or a long linear structure, which is why I think that diatom that we were just looking at may actually belong in Aphrocymbella rather than in Gonfanema, where it's currently located. I thought Gonfanema had stashes too. No, they don't. Mm, I thought you said Gonfanema and Aphrocymbella. Well, between the two of them, they both have uh, 
they have many different sort of shapes uh, for their stigma. Mm. And um, for some diatoms, they can have more than one. And in fact, there's a diatom in here that had three stigma that I saw. Really? Yeah. Uh, and I didn't take a picture of it earlier, Not but important it's enough? in here. No, you were, I was trying to give over the controls to you, so what's there? Mm, what's that? That's not it, is it? Maybe it is, because that, that one's it was a little straight. Oh, I can't see the center nodule. Wait, <laughs> zoom back in. It's literally, wait, wait. That's the central nodule. Well, there's schmutz right that's there. That's the right organism. Are you sure? Positive. Well, let's go to the poor field. Would you look at that? Oh, it's a septa. That's why. Oh. You can take a picture of the septa, that's fine. Well, at least it's beautiful on this one. The other one, it looked like a mess. <laughs> they said it's wearing a hat. Uh, it's actually a little silica division inside the, um, the, the cell. More like webbed toes. My brother had webbed toes. Like webbed toes? Really? Yeah. yeah. I would like to think oh, of wow. it a little bit more like... He had to have surgery um, on him. Could he, could he swim like Aquaman? He was a good swimmer when he was on the swim team. <laughs> he got him fixed and he was little. Dude, little kids are crazy. He got, he had to get like, you know, he had to get his, his feet all, you know, cut up and whatever. And then they put a cast on him so he wouldn't scratch it because he was only like two and a half-ish. I don't remember. Um, but he, little devil, he slipped out of every cast they put on him. We don't even know how. You'd like turn your back on him. Next thing you know, cast off. They're, little kids are so funny. So we had to like wrap it like a... Like wrap it every day instead. Oh, the curved parts weren't part of the actual stigma. Those were the ends of the ray feed. Yeah. They're actually not directly, typically not directly associated with the the um, the actual like stigma component. That'll do, pig. Um, there's usually. Nope, it won't. It won't. <laughs> Good job, Mallory. Every day, I struggle. Uh, they're not directly integrated into the, the stigma, which is the, the dashed component. Lux, so, Theo, do you guys uh, own a passport? In Acrocymbella, they're a little bit more like, uh, the, the ends of the raphi are a little bit more like sort of antler shaped, which is what you're talking about. And I, I do think that that's a characteristic uh, shape for Acrocymbella. I have a passport. I have a passport, of course. I have a passport. I've, you do? I do. It's just no one wants us right now. Yeah. I've never used my passport. I want, I want to go to... Well, Luxio has got to go. Oh, bye, Luxio. Come back soon. Um, I want to go out of the country as soon as we can. Not forever. I do like it here. I'm very, I feel like I'm fairly patriotic. You know, you can be patriotic and not agree with things, you know? I always joke that I want to leave. I don't really want to leave. So it's it's more like a like a slipper. It looks blurry, but I swear it was in focus at the bottom of the septa. I think it's just because there's no structure to it. It's a solid sheet of silica, so mm. it doesn't really have a lot of character. This is why I asked. Cool. Yeah, if we can get another one of these, or if we put it on, um, if we get another Aphrosimbella, we can look at their the Raytheon ends. They look a lot like little antlers. And um, that's pretty characteristic for Aphrosimbella, and not usually for Gomphonema. So um, they have this sort of uh, unique shaped, what's called intermissio, which is that uh, antler shaped thing that you were talking about. This is a good day for me. I'm having a good day. Everyone else having a good day? Please tell me yes. It's a good day to have a great day. Why are you having a good day? I don't know. Because I like what I'm doing and Elsa, I'm doing it well. They had a terrible headache yesterday. I'm but sorry. But they pronounced it like terrible. You got a terrible headache. But today they're great. Can we talk like Southern Bells for the rest of this? <laughs> Please. Please. You can talk however you would like. Mama. What? I love going to the... <laughs> I've never heard you laugh like that. <laughs> Gotta farm some gifts and sound clips. Bless your heart. Still like five hours of work. A bit much, don't you think? 
Mm. Yelling, I'm happy that you're doing good. You too, Dirty Smith. Not very enthusiastic, though. Dirty Smith, sure. how dirty are you? <laughs> Three. Three dirty. <laughs> Three dirty. <laughs> Dean I'm Dean. curious if you're dirty because you're smithing, or are you dirty like, are you going to be potty mouth the whole time? Do you want a whole picture of this? No, that's good. Or just the septa? That's fine. We'll uh, figure it out. Yeah, because it's big chilling right here. I mean, you can just find I'm sort of it curious again. if you're, if you're going to be like a potty mouth while you're working on stuff. Down on the farm. I'm picturing where his farm. last name's Smith, and he's like a landscaper. That's no, what are you? What did you just mean? Oh, he's mean? actually a blacksmith. Yeah, he's gonna stream. Oh, he's the blacksmith. Oh. Yeah, he's got. He's working on getting his okay. stuff set up. I guess. I recommend that you check out Dirty Smith. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Del. That's my verbal. Yeah, someone's not modding well while I'm doing the stream. Oh shit. I would never make such a mistake. Such a rookie mistake. Not I, said the toad. Not I, said the frog. What are you quoting? She always says weird stuff like that. I think it's from... You think uh, I... It's from the frog know, the in the toad. the place where she grew up, that's the way they talk. Oh. It. No, it... No. No one else... It's from the frog in the toad. It's literally just like a single line in one of their books where they're talking and one of them says, not, and it says, not I, said the toad. <laughs> It says, not <laughs> I, said the toad. Not pog. I, said the frog. Uh -huh. Not I, said the pog. <laughs> pog, pog. <laughs> I hate that word. Do you hate that word? Pog. What's it, <laughs> what's it even referring to? I know it's like supposed to mean cool or great or awesome or whatever. Or dude. Or dude. 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 Can we talk about accents again? Does Eleanor have like a... Do I have a strong accent to your ears? Do I have an accent? Yeah. To mine or to channel? You want to know if chat thinks you have... I know. Well, I don't... Actually, I don't accent. know. What do you think? You all have accent, is what Del says. Yeah, I know we all have accents, but, like, is it... Does it sound similar to what you hear? Is this an Insinema? Dr. Stone? Is this an Insinema? No. What Can is you zoom in on that? Uh... I'm not sure what that is. Wait, zoom back out and look at the ends. Let's see, it says the Midwestern accent is like honey. Oh, it might walnuts. be unsignema. Well, it's not a Afrocentric because it doesn't have a stigma. Uh, um. Oh, you did YouTube for a long time. Okay. You did YouTube? Cool. Dirty Smith did. Cool, cool, cool. Now they're on the Twitch. Okay. You know, YouTube is dying. I don't know if that's true. I just when, heard someone uh, say that. When I talk, it's like honey on a spoon. Yeah. You? What about me? They say that your accent would be the easiest to mimic. Mine? Yeah. Oh, so Who now I'm that? a joke. Uh, Jean. Really? Mine is the easiest to mimic? Mm -hmm. Why? Why is it easy? I don't know. I wonder why. said maybe Doc's accent is the easiest. Da, 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 da. I guess we take a Minnesota accent and dial it way back. Okay, here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you betcha. You betcha. I'm about to go to the car. I'm not good <laughs> at accents. Someone should just really? muzzle me. <laughs> the little one was kind of funny looking. <laughs> uh, Don't you know? No. Marge. <laughs> Marge. Can you do a Marge accent, Dr. Stone? Uh, Accent impersonation. I'd have to. Oh, that's a. It's a. I guess it's Marge Navicula. from Fargo. Or uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's Ensignema. Why? Why do I keep saying Navicula when I mean Ensignema? You have, in your brain. I have something wrong with me. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Thank you. It'd be a I lot easier to find... see what's going on on the screen if I put my glasses on. Yeah, maybe. I forgot I wasn't wearing them. One time... This one time? At band camp? <laughs> <laughs> I never went to band camp. I went to space camp. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm Aww. kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Wait, what's that? 
Oh, is it rope below you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Look at that. <laughs> he why, got punched. Why are you zoomed into 20 when we're looking for big things? Because you told me to zoom in so I wouldn't miss the small things. Yeah, but you were really zoomed out before. Wait, what was that? The rope below you? Yes. Okay. Da, 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 da. I don't even like that song. Why do I keep singing it? Um, it's called Earworm. You've been earworm. That. This? Yeah, what is it? In Sinema? No, it is in Sinema. Dude, I should teach the course. Yeah, you should. That would be hilarious. <laughs> if you give me the PowerPoint before, I will teach the course. Okay. Please. Uh, I'm ready for that. Well, how, uh, how long before the class do you need the PowerPoint? One minute. No more. Okay. Oh, right there. Right hand side. That's our boy. My son. Where's my son? <laughs> you guys like Nemo? Yeah, 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 that's it. But it's still an internal view? Mm -hmm. Do you want the picture or not? Nah. Mm -hmm. I want an external view. But that's a boy. It's a boy. That's the one. That's a real Bologna before you ask. Oh, what's going on up here? Yeah, you guys have you had run one job to do. Jesus We're talking Christ! About soda. I didn't think it was... Pop? You like pop? <laughs> That's your friend in the chipper there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that little loop in the ray feet. Yeah, it's so cute. Some places all soft drinks equal Coke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's so many people that say milk instead of milk. That's down, down in southern oh, Indiana. It's all gosh. Coke. They don't say soda. Uh, My cousin calls everything a Coke. Ireland's dad says Warsh. I don't time. like that. That one I can't deal with. Washington? Uh, I'll correct. My my grandma gets Washington, pissed when I correct her. Uh. That just makes me cringe when it says it. Um, but yeah, it's pop. It's all pop. No, it's soda. Well, I mean, no, it's not. I'm not Dirty Smith. It's pop. It's all pop, and then you can have specific kinds of pop. So Coke is a kind of pop. But if, if so, like if you if you're getting a, a Coke, then you say, you're you're like, oh, no. oh, you're getting some pop in like a general sense, and they say, yeah, I'm getting a Coke. So it's like... Soda. No. Soda. Actually, all of my uh, uh, family calls it pop. Really? Then, oh, you just you just think you're special? Yeah. yeah. I'm special. And that I know what the word is. Just because... Just because... Um, you know what? Words don't have inherent meaning. How do you pronounce that thing that you draw with when you're a child before you start learning to use pens and pencils? You know, the colored ones? Dry erase board? No. Mm, Dirty Smith wants to know Whiteboard? if it was no. busy or still They're made water. out of, like, wax? I, I was not... With colors? Children use them to draw? Well, first of all, I How was not raised in Abraham Lincoln's one schoolhouse. How? Like one room schoolhouse. How? I have no idea what well, you're talking about. What? It, that was an, that was an Ensinema. God. Yeah, it's Ensinema. Oh, my... Is this what you the, feel like? The thing that children draw with? I don't... Just Crayon. start with a C? Crayon. Crayon? What is it? Crayon. Crayon? Crayon? Crayon. Don't do this to me. Today. It's a crayon? It's crayon? Crayon. Not a crayon. I used to say it's a crown. Crown is uh -huh. Indiana's way of saying it. Yeah. I used to say crown, and then people started saying it's a crayon. And I'm like, oh, it, so it's it, a crayon. Crayon? So I say it wrong both ways. But if I'm not if I'm not like in the spot, I'll call it a crown. <laughs> oh, so you knew what I wanted? You just said crayon. No, I thought you meant like a wax tablet, like oh. that you wrote, like 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 carved into like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I was like, what are oh, you yeah. talking children about? Children usually use carving. <laughs> wax I don't know what tablets. children do. You know, um, number, oh, number four. if uh, if the children are learning cuneiform <laughs> and they need to, to use a wax tablet, it's bull. Then yeah, that makes. My total friends sense. from Iowa can't say bull. It's bull. <laughs> I'm saying bull. Actually, I have to train myself uh, for some words that I say. Like what? Uh, to to pronounce them differently. Like um, what? Oh oh. No, that's an insane name. Yeah. 
What's uh, <laughs> he'll say bullsh, but it sounds more like bow. Both. Lincoln's yeah. wax tablet is described by the fire. Or if it's from Arkansas and she has no accent. Oh no, the word both. Arkansas. The word Here, both. A pen is called an ink pen. Is that the? Uh, no, right these there? are these no, are no up there, right to the this bit. One? And Sinema. Ah, every time. Both. Maybe we should. The describe. word both. 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 Yeah, Carlin says both. Why? Huh. With like an L in there. Both. And actually, that's how I grew up saying it, and I've learned both. to say both. Like both? I've trained myself to say both instead of both. Did you not like it or something? I just am confused why everybody said both when it's both. It's just the way both. you make the sounds with your mouth. Yeah, so, but I, when I say the word both, I have to stop and think about what I'm saying. I think it's inter. is this, no, that's, that's a, a navicula. navicula. Um, I think it's, I don't know, I, I think accents are fun to, like, think about, but I get so annoyed when people, like, genuinely are like, no, you're saying it wrong. I'm like, how am I going to say it wrong? You're saying it wrong. Right there. Oh, you passed one. No. Yeah. Where? Right there. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, it's a cute one, yeah, too. Yeah, that time I was right. Every blind squirrel finds a nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want to know how it is to be a student at Indiana University. Well, we're not at Indiana University. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Jeez, that was a good one. That was a funny uh, it's, one. It's Indiana State University. There's another. It's funny because there's another university that's it's yeah. IU, and uh, no one remembers that Indiana State exists. <laughs> they always think it's yeah. Yeah. Uh, so like people are like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I go to Indiana State, and they're like, oh, what? Where's, In Bloomington. They're like, oh, is you see going down to Bloomington? I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. A lot of my friends went to IU, though. I think I made the right choice, though. Did you? Oh, I know I did. I, I mean, see. I see what my friends at IU are doing, and uh, I'm you're happy where I am. On Twitch. What are they mm -hmm. doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pacific yeah. Plankton is back. Hey. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know there were two. That's fine. Yeah. We Most weren't people... laughing at you. We were laughing <laughs> yeah. at the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, there's like fine. so many universities. They got. They just it's Indiana just, and University of yeah. Southern, yeah. Put Southern in there. Indiana University, yeah. University and, of Indiana, and then and then there's Illinois Southern, so yeah. and then you so have there's ISU again, I U P U I, Ui Pui. <laughs> uh, but anyway, how is it to be a student at Indiana State University, Illinois? Um, Feels I, good, man. I mean, I picked it just because there's so many more opportunities to get involved compared to any other university I looked at. So. Yeah, I picked it. I didn't want to go to a big university. Um, because, I mean, she wanted to be a big deal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I. She has the opportunity to be a big deal here. Yeah. I yeah I I made a joke last time about how my friends at Purdue asked me like how I get to do research and stuff like that like being this young, and then I'm like, well, I didn't choose my school based on which one sells more more cups with the logo on it, so. I lived in Oxford, Ohio. Oh, cool. Nice. Big fish, small pond. Yeah. That's Dude, the I'm a same massive reason fish. I picked to be a professor here. <laughs> Want to be a big deal. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> this is like a mid-sized pond. A small to mid-sized pond. Yeah. It's not that, it's it's not that tiny. It, it's not as small as Rose Holman. Rose Holman's tiny. And they're big. It's a big deal. So. They're a big deal. Mm -hmm. Their professors probably make twice as much as me. Dude, they're t they have maids that make their beds for them. What? Well, okay, I don't know if they make their beds, but they do their laundry. Like they wash their Come sheets. Come in and insult their beds. And they clean their floors and stuff. <laughs> Sounds That's amazing. That's crazy. Chris, I wouldn't want to pay for that in my tuition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not for free. Yeah. My sister went there, and every single, every time she tries to argue with me, she's like, yeah, well, I went to Rose Holman, so what do you know? And I'm like, yeah, well, I know how to make my own bed and wash my own sheets, so what do I know? That's a good point. I revert back to that every time. Laundry service. <laughs> well, it's so cool that you guys are involved. 93, thank you. You know, this is the only place on Twitch 
and probably the internet, where you can see live streaming of a scanning electron microscope twice a week. <laughs> I won't be here this weekend. You won't? No, I'm going to a party. What? What? Good Does this have to do with you being dressed up yesterday? No, it has to do with my 80-year-old grandmother's surprise oh. birthday party. <laughs> you think I'm going you to You got a... dressed up for your 80-year-old grandmother? That is really nice. No. Oh! Oh! Ow! <laughs> wow, you shouldn't slap the five Ow! head so hard. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do it that hard. Stop going your five head! <laughs> I just realized I, I forgot to make a phone call. Now my forehead's gonna be red. Clown nose. <laughs> Oh. How, how did you like that? Like, I don't have control over my body. Control. We're usually in agreement, but if I act too quickly, then they start to panic. Oh 93. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, person Bella S P. Boom. Okay, we good? You want more? Or what do you want? It's good. Ooh, we had a new follow. Really? That's what that means. And it was critically 93. Good. Thank you hey. for the follow. Especially after, you know, <laughs> talking up our channel. Jan Wait. said it's hard to miss. Oh, that forehead? Yeah. <laughs> you guys better Many be. Hands. <laughs> you better be happy I'm a narcissist, man. I'd be, I'd be on the floor right now with this. <laughs> What's the matter? I, I'm narcissist and my Zoom, my Zoom box is my pond. I'm gonna have to leave we in five like minutes. We only like to make fun of you because we know it has a positive effect on you. What's the positive effect? It makes you laugh. <laughs> yeah. You have to go? I, I got a tutor at four o'clock. We've been here for like three hours. Yeah, we should probably pull the plug on this sometime soon. We should probably start now before I keep going. Since we just we end on a high note of me trying to brain myself with my own hand. And taking a picture. What's going on? Are we done? Oh, are you done? Oh, I gotta leave in five minutes, so I'm either gonna be done or someone else taking over. You wanna Eleanor? run it for a little bit, Eleanor, or what? Yeah, I'll be back in an hour. Bit. Do you think you can last for another hour? No. Okay. Not another hour. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'll sit here for two seconds. And my laptop okay. can be taken away, so you might wanna log in, Eleanor. Okay. I got it over here. Oh, She's mother got trucker, it. dude. Sorry. Sorry, t <laughs> You don't know, watch your language, please. I said mother okay. trucker. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Okay, what? you're getting a... You guys don't know that? Do you remember how to control this thing? Uh, I just need a little... Use the middle mouse button to click and take us oh, wherever sorry. you would like to go. Middle mouse button. The wheel. Yep. There we go. And then for... Uh, you clicked on the actual right click when you did that. Okay. So right click, double click on the right, sorry, left side, and it'll left get rid side. of that box. So if you middle mouse click, it'll take you wherever you click. There you go. And then the mag wheel in and out is the top one, and the focus is the bottom. Do you want to zoom in? We're looking at a cochinese, which is a type of diatom, and that's their silica cell wall that we're looking at. How do I do that thing again? Yep, then just use the bottom oh. wheel to focus. Never okay. showed the glow in the dark mask. I'll send a picture of it in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, there you go. Here's That's the Discord good. thing. And yeah. then double click again, and it'll make that mag or make that uh, focus. But I think for the you are thing. young. Okay. And if you want to speed it up or slow it down to make the image a little clearer, yep. Feel free to just do whatever you wherever you want to go, wherever you okay. want to take us, Eleanor. Have we like, gone through every single? No. No. There's lots of stuff in here we haven't really looked at closely. Mallory was following some sort of Mallory system. Uh. I go up and down in zigzags. Right. <laughs> I go left and then I go right. Always be plugging. You know it. Let's see. Yeah, have we done number three? I have. Yeah. Five. No. Okay. Let's jump over to sample number five. Maybe it's got stuff on it. You need to zoom out a little. Okay. And then focus. Oh, there's stuff there. 
<laughs> that is a big Sorella. The one that looks like a circus peanut. Middle mouse button. Ugh. Now you need to double click on the left hand and then zoom in. And actually, that diacom that we were looking at before, there's an internal view of one that's to the top right of this, but go ahead okay. and look at the Sorella. Sorella, you're actually getting sort of an uh, oblique view of it. If you, um, you know, normally we see them in bow view or in girdle view, in other words, from uh, like a map plan view or from profile. And in this one, we're actually seeing partially the bow face and part the side or the mantle. So yeah, use that to focus in there. So you want to, yeah, there we that's go. good. Hey. And then double click. Look at that. And then if you zoom in, we can actually look right in on the raphe, which is this little sort of slit that runs along the bow that diatoms use to move around with. And um, the focus is limited by the beam intensity as well. So if you go up and change the beam intensity, so click in that little box up there. Okay. Yep. And, then... and change it to 7. And hit it. Yep. And you'll see that the image quality improved a little bit. And that's just because the beam intensity is sort of like fine tip pen versus a coarse tip pen, or, you know, ultra wide sharpie versus a fine tip sharpie. And so when you do that, usually you have to make some adjustments to the brightness and other things. But, um, but I think for what you're doing, that's fine. And if you. Well, you can continue to zoom around if you'd like, whatever you want. So, middle mouse button to click, and you can see right, right there. Here? Yep, that's okay. what we were looking at, what Mallory was looking at in the previous slide. Where'd it go? It's right in the middle now, you just need to zoom yeah. in. Okay. Trust that you clicked it. It'll come in. There it is. And it's whatever this Gonfanema-like thing is that we were looking at either Afrosimbella or Gonfanema. We're not positive, but it's currently classified as a Gonfanema. Okay, it Are sounds like- Were you chatting in the chat box? Hold on, hold on. Doing? Does anyone in the USA have an opportunity to do research while in college? Both of us do. Yep. Um, especially Indiana State University. Plug. Um, <laughs> yes, I've been doing it. This is my third year getting into it, hoping to publish the results soon-ish. Um, and then, honestly, before the paper's even published, we've been getting into even more stuff. That seems to happen with Dr. Stone. Start one thing, get into another. Zero Shot Professor, thank you for the follow. Um, Eleanor is just getting into it, yeah. so she's got four fantastic years ahead of her, you know? She's the freshman. I'm sorry, I didn't see the question, Jan. I was what is putting this? up, I have to Sponge run an Instagram figure. page. Hmm. What are your GPAs? Those are pretty important in the US. That has nothing to do with my research, uh, but just so you know, <laughs> it is, uh, I'll tell you, it's a uh, 3.8. Wow, you only gave us one decimal place? <laughs> you, don't need to, you don't need to know the second decimal place. That's, that's for later. That's mm -hmm. top clearance. I thought I had top clearance. You do. You can see my grade at any moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know that that's true. But I don't care what you Eleanor grade. doesn't have a GPA yet because she's yeah. only been here for a semester. Yeah, I haven't she's even completed it. it. I'm, going I'm to working walk, on it, yeah. I'm going to walk to a different building, oh. and I'll still be in the chat for a little while after that. While so. you mentor someone else? <laughs> I don't have anyone in today's tutoring session. Oh, you're just sitting there to get paid? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> can you... Zoom out just a little bit. Yeah. So I'll be in the chat in a moment. So that's an ensignema, and it's just under a pile of uh, clay. And Bye, guys. Bye. She was buying the channel, not us. Oh. She doesn't care I'll about you and me. Uh, can you, oops, can you zoom out just a little bit? Yeah. Um, I thought I saw a diplonese right here, <laughs> but that could also be a cockatiece. Okay. It's hard to tell when you don't have the. Um, Oh, there's an external view of that thing we were looking at. Okay, go ahead and zoom okay. in. Maybe it's an internal view. Hope it's Kakanese. Okay. So can we scroll out? Yep. And then click on that thing right there, top right. Yep. Okay. 
I just want to see if that's an external view or an internal view. And if it's an external view, I want to flow a little bit. It's definitely an external view. Okay. And can we, so I want to get a nice close up of the central area. It's really odd. Closer or? Yeah, closer. Okay. Get us in super close. Wow, that is so weird on the inside that the, the stigma has such a different look to it. Maybe it's a different species. Zoom out just a little so we can see that whole middle part. Yep, and then just work on getting the focus super clean and okay. we'll take a picture. And also if you can uh, put the central nodule in the middle of the screen. Yeah. It's like right here. Yep, just click right there. Just with the middle mouse button though. Mm. Focus is good. Middle mouse, perfect. And then change the speed to seven. <laughs> I think it looks good. Yeah. So the picture taking is this button right there. Okay. Just click it. And then we've got three minutes where we can just look at what's going on in the channel. All right. Everybody was just saying by the Mallory, that's all. Oh, okay. That's okay. Just trying to do a little bit of research on our end here, you know, get some actual science done. And maybe I should move over to the other side so I'm on the camera. I think people get the idea that, uh, that I'm actually like five people, you know, because it's me and then all my helpers, and then my daughter. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, pretty cool. It's got a little bit of clay on the outside and it's slightly dissolved, but the picture's nice and clean. And what's interesting to me is um, Whatever is going on with the stigma on this one, it looks like there's actually three little holes on the outside. So um, when it rolls down to the point where we can actually see it, so normally what I would do is move that up so people can see what's going on. Yeah, so there's a little hole here and then a larger hole and then there's another one right here that's next to it that's a little hole. And those three seem to be associated with whatever's going on on the inside of the bowel. So if it's a gonfanema, that's kind of interesting, because it's a gonfanema with basically three stigma. So you can see these are different than the holes that are around them. These are areoli, and um, these are sort of slit-shaped, and uh, this is the raphe, of course on the inside of the valve, but you can see how these things are all shaped similar to these things. And then there's just these three elements that are a little different. And now can you only see those like if you were using this or could you see it on like You might actually be able to tell that those are stigma in the light microscope. And I have some light microscope images of some of the gonfanema from uh, from this system. And I'm sort of curious what this thing is. So if those are stigma and there's three stigma, and that's and it's a gonfanema, um, then um, I wrote a paper just this year that came out on multi-stigmate gonfanema, and I didn't include this one in the conversation. It probably should have been in there, but I didn't even know that this was multi-stigmate. So, uh, you know, that's a, a interesting addition to the story and might be useful. Uh, it's such a different diatom than anything else that's in the, even in the neighborhood of it, though. It's enormous. What is this? Five? Yeah. 64. 64. Um, it's just an enormous gonfanema, and so it's such a weird organism anyway. Um, we'll just call it a gonfanema for now, because this is likely not Aprocimbella. So just type in gonfanema. Yeah. Starts with a G. <laughs> Just like it sounds. Um, okay, so I'll read questions. I have a team, yeah, basically. Okay. 
Do I want to be in your sim? So dangling uvula, absolutely. Put me I, in put there. Put me in the sim. I put Eleanor in there before I love you put sims. me in. Uh, I know nothing about it, but you know it can't hurt for you to have an artificial okay. version of me walking around with a diamond over my head or whatever it is. Sounds great. Okay, is this uh, good for the spelling? Yeah. It's all electrons. It's close enough. I'll know which one it is. Okay. Later on, I'll laugh about your spelling. <laughs> Uh, are there common malformations in these, or are they fairly consistent? I would think generally the diatoms that we see are pretty consistent. Um, you do occasionally get some things that are deformed. Um, you can go back to taking okay. over the controls. Uh, and if you find anything else that's kind of shaped like this, if we can stop and take a look at it. Okay. So speed it up. Yep. There we go. And uh, we might want a picture of that whole thing too, actually. Okay. So, so just like, yep, just an overview shot, and, then and you can just put it on speed six and hit okay. the hit the photo, like go ahead and take it. Yep, it'll take a faster photo, but um, I just sort of want to have like a picture of what it looks like from the outside. Okay, uh, Doc, have you heard of KiwiCo? They offer different maker sets for kids to create machines. Never heard of it, but I would like to look it up. Sounds like something my daughter would like. Uh, you have two spots next to Mallory. Well, can you put Eleanor between me and Mallory just so that I'm not standing right next to her, you know? <laughs> that foot pole is really unusual, too. Um, we can just zoom in and take a look at it when the picture's done. That'd be great. Okay. It's really weird looking. It's got like a surfboard shape. Yeah, the shape is pretty typical for Gompanema, uh, for this It's got that diatom. circle there. That's the, the girdle band of another diatom oh, just okay. laying on it. That's not part of its skeleton. Last night while I was browsing around uh, some samples that were similar to these ones, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, keep everything the way it was and stick a, a two out there or something. Um, so if you want to, you can close this by clicking on the little red X, okay. and then I just sort of want to look up at the... Okay. Um, when did you get VIP? Uh, probably earlier today, Cal. I went through, or last night I went through. I saw a really cool uh, somatopleura last night that has spines, and sometimes I've seen, oh, it's just got crud on it, but it actually is kind of weird looking. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You can zoom out, we don't need a picture of that. I just was interested in what was going on there. Um, there may not be any more of those in this sample. Sorry. There's another big Gumpanema right there, but I don't think it's the same species, so. Go ahead and take us on a trip. What's this? That is a Ropalodia. Okay. If you want to zoom in on a Ropalodia, we can take a look at it. Ropalodia have a Rafi that's on the outside, uh, on the margin, on the outside margin. And we can't see it because it's laying on its side. It's probably laying on the actual uh, rafi. In fact, I think if we look right in here, you might be able to see the rafi that it's laying on. So if you zoom in, and let's zoom in and take a look inside of the, inside of the valve. Um, keep going. Oh, that's not the Rafi. I think the Rafi okay. is hidden from us. So we're just looking on the inside of the valve. So this part's inside and that part's on the outside. So we're getting like half in, half out view, uh, which just happens to be the angle that it's laying on the, uh, the stub. Uh, do you see that thing that looks like a little pineapple wedge up there? Mm. Yeah, just your mouse went right over it. Okay, this? Yeah. Okay. That's actually... Another gumphenema, it's laying on its side. Yep, a little gumphenema. And that's the normal shape that gumphenema have when you see them in girdle view. They're shaped like little uh, wedges. So one way that we can tell we're looking at gumphenema typically, or gumphenemoids, something in this group, is that they actually have that sort of a shape rather than like a square or a rectangular shape in, in girdle view. Um, they have this really characteristic sort of pie wedge shape. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, is Mallory still in the channel? I guess she is. <laughs> let's see, which other ones did you guys look at? Uh, can you see intercellular organelles with this microscope? You can just zoom around, whatever you want to look okay. at. Actually, that down there is a Cirrella, or a Cimetopleura. We could zoom in on that and see if it has a spine. That would be really cool. Uh, that is the internal view, so we wouldn't be able to tell from that view. That's okay. Scroll around and find us something cool to look at. Okay. That's your job. Uh, so the question is, can you see intercellular organelles? And for uh, the diatoms that we're looking at, the slides have been cleaned by putting them into nitric acid and uh, hydro hydrogen peroxide, which are oxidizers and acids that remove all the organic material. If the organic material were present in them, we still wouldn't be able to see it uh, likely because, oh, that's the diatom that, the other one that we've been looking at. Have we already looked also at Also an one? internal view, yeah. Um, we started off right there, actually. Okay. Or right next to them. So you probably wouldn't be able to see them in this view because the skeletons of diatoms are basically opaque to us in the scanning electron microscope. They have to be coated with gold in order for our, us to get good images from them. Um, but... Um, if you had a transmission electron microscope, you would be able to see through the valves, and you probably would be able to see their organelles. Transmission electron microscopes are like three times the cost of a scanning electron microscope, a much more powerful instrument, but uh, they function a little bit more like a light microscope in that the electron beam comes from under the sample or whatever, it transmits through the sample, and then the sensor basically picks up whatever passes through. So that is another Ropalodia, and uh, you can see that is the, the um, visible rate in the field of view is the ray feed for it on the right hand side. How do we coat them with gold? So Pandemic Watch asked that question, and the answer is uh, we use a tool called a sputter coater. That's, I think, just junk. Yeah, that's just a piece mm -hmm. of debris. The sputter coater uh, has in the top of it some sort of piece of metal. Um, in ours, we've, we've put gold in it. It's like a gold foil, um, but you can also use a uh, silver, copper, any metal really, and you're just trying to make it so that whatever it is that's in there, in the sample, has a, uh, a metal coating because metal is much more capable of, um, you know, electronic transmission. So um, uh, for ours, what you do is you put it in there, it has a vacuum, and then the, um, the electrical current passes through the gold foil in the top, and it turns it from a solid state into a plasma. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Um, into plasma, and then the sample is basically trapped inside a little cloud of plasma, and the cloud is sort of drawn into the chamber by opening a small hole in the chamber. Oh, there's a really cool little Cirrella up there, a rather big Cirrella. Where did we go? The opposite direction? Um, and uh, as a result, the plasma cloud basically will coat over the samples. And when it does, oh, it's way up there at yeah. the top, yeah. Hey, yeah, you got it. Covered with mud. But um, when the samples are inside that plasma cloud, what happens is that it will turn back into a solid on the outside of the um, sample, whatever is under there. So it basically creates a gold plating over the material. Yeah, sputter deposition. That's exactly right. Yeah, a surface coating. Yeah. Yep, 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 exactly. 
So it's just a really thin, thin layer, uh, a couple of nanometers thick. That's another Cirrella. That is a Sparsi punctata, which we looked at on Saturday briefly. Um, that one's kind of really unusual shape. That's how I know what it is right away. Very round. And then there's another diatom trapped on the surface, a valve of another diatom trapped on the surface of it. I'm gonna try number 150, uh, number one. Okay. Let's just look around a little on this sample. I don't know if Mallory was here or not. I don't remember her spending much time on it, but. Um, there are diatoms. I think we started off on this um, when I started to sit down initially. We're looking for sort of egg-shaped diatoms. Now, what is this? That is, I think, the girdle band oh. of a centric diatom. I don't know what. Probably a stephanodiscus. So there are a bunch of uh, cyclostephanos and stephanodiscus diatoms in here, the round ones. I know you were feeling like you wanted to see some round ones. <laughs> uh, here are some round ones in here, I think, if you zoom in a little bit. So we're way, way far out. Yep. There's one. Yep. And that's a stephanodiscus, I think. Um, and then we're going to do something really cool. So get that into focus. There we go. Yep. Look at that. And you can zoom in on that if you'd like. Yep. So all of the little uh, coverings on these ones have been dissolved, which I think it might be cyclostephanos, but you can see a rimaportula right here. So it's a specialized process on there. So if you zoom in on that, on uh, it's this like thing a, here. yep, it's like a little pair of lips or something. The rimaportula. And you can focus. That would be perfect. Yeah, there you go. This is a little specialized process on the diatom where a lot of the taxonomy is based on where the position of the room of portula is. And also on the outside edges, these little holes that you see right here are mantle photoportula. They're kind of buried under the lip. Of it so like a it's like a, a, a bottle cap or something with like the lip that comes around okay and it's just making it so you can't see them very clearly uh, let's see yeah, yeah. Uh, we need a dr. stone gold member meme <laughs> <laughs> I love gold gold <laughs> uh, diatoms with freaking lasers <laughs> Hey, Shawnee. Uh, I'm glad you think this is wild. Uh, let's see. We are scanning around in some samples from Lake Tanganyika on a scanning electron microscope, looking at diatoms. Is this anything? Yes, it is. Okay. That is a diatom in the genus Olicocyra. And I can tell right away that's what it is. But if you zoom in on it, you'll see that it's oh, two wow. diatoms being held together by little tiny spines. And you can zoom right in on those spines if you like. We got it all lined up for us. And if you focus on them just a little bit more tightly, you'll see that they are, um, they've got sort of spade shaped heads or something. Yep. And the spines basically interlock so that the diatom sibling valves. So you're looking at two sister valves in a colony. And um, what's cool about that, of course, is they're being held together, right, as a colony but the other half of the diatom is missing. So if you zoom out a little bit, what you'll see is um, a whole diatom would be from this, there'd be another valve down here, and that would make the whole diatom. So each valve would be half. And uh, the spines on these work so well 
that basically the diatom got ripped in half, and this diatom got ripped in half when they died, and you end up with the two sibling valves that are still holding hands, basically, even though the diatoms are, uh, are gone, are dead. And if we zoom in on these little uh, Wu-Tang uh, clan symbols uh, <laughs> in the pores, then um, you can actually see that there's really intricate structure inside those little tiny holes. We can keep zooming in, I think, actually. And um, this is really, really nice view of the internal. So if you can focus on, just get that a little tighter focus. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, okay. You're doing it. It may be that it's at the limit. So we're, if you look at the scale bar at the bottom, yeah, you're right up on it. Oops. And to get it any better than that, I think you're really, really at the limit of what the instrument can do at um, with the beam intensity at seven. But if we lower it down to five, you'll see that that actually comes into focus. And that's an example of really sort of you can see the the difference between beam intensity seven and beam intensity five with respect to the clarity of that image. And of course, to really draw that well, you'd have to slow it down so we could see in here very cleanly, right? So that's the best resolution we could get with seven. That's the best resolution we could get basically with a five. And if we lowered it down to three, we'd actually see that the image quality improves even higher above that, right? So you can see how sharp this is hey, now. Howie, Howie. Oh, somebody gave us a sub. <laughs> hey, Shawnee. Uh, thanks. That's awesome. Uh, oh, a whole bunch of subs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Ten. 10 subs. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Thanks, Shawnee. Um, that's amazing. Very generous. I should point out that any money that the channel, that our stream channel makes, goes to pay for student research in the lab. And uh, none of it comes to, to me, actually. So, or it comes to me and then I turn it back around. But you can see really the detail that's in here. Another thing that's really cool about this view, because you can see what it looked like at seven, which was pretty high resolution. Um, but here at three, what happens when you increase the beam intensity, the picture's a lot clearer, but darker. And the reason that it's darker is because now the beam is smaller, and so it's getting less information from each pixel, right? Oh, also we got a, a new follow. So if we wanted to fix that, we could actually just use the auto focus, uh, or the auto contrast and make some adjustments to it. So we're getting a little bit less signal, but we're getting it at a much higher resolution. And so everything with the scanning electron microscope, like any photography, is about balancing the resolution with um, the focal depth and the quality of the image, right? Hey. Oh, we got more follows. We got a whole bunch of follows going on. That's awesome. Thanks for the follows. And uh, so you can get a pretty cool, like, pretty clear sense of like um, the, the differences between, um, you know, those different aspects of just changing one thing, the beam intensity. If we went back to what we were cruising around with the beam intensity 10, it's a lot oh, brighter wow. and you can't even see any of the detail now, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's too bright. But even if we were to fix the brightness, what you'd find is that this would then look like it's sharply resolved and what's in here will look like it's blurry because we can't ever get that sort of high quality uh, view with, it's like taking a Sharpie and trying to draw something very fine, right? You can't ever get it because there's too much of a bleed in the signal. And the narrower the beam is, the cleaner that image coming back is. And of course for us, three is about as low as you could reasonably take it. We could take the beam intensity down to one, you know, we could take down to half, uh, but then the image starts to get darker and darker. And then at some point, basically, um, you have to really slow down the beam in order to get that quality image to even, um, to even have the resolution that you need. But so now you can see the difference between where we normally cruise around at, at 10 and where we normally take our pictures, which is around 7, right? So you can tell the difference between these. We didn't change any of the focus. And in fact, I don't think you'd be able to get the focus any better than that, even if you were to tinker with it, because that's basically just the highest quality that you can get at that speed. So um, at speed 7, and normally what we do is speed seven, beam intensity seven, we can get a decent picture, but you can't get, um, you know, you can't get everything at that level. And then, so the way that I would compensate for that is I would just back out a little, right? 
yeah. and we just be happy with the fact that we're not quite as zoomed in and set the speed to seven and we'll get a nice image that will be relatively sharp. We don't have the magnification where we weren't, we were at like 150,000 times magnification. We don't have that magnification, but we got more detail um, relative to what we were looking at, right? So we can come in there and just look at that little bit and get a nice clean image inside of the, the box. Triple check our focus if we'd like, and then if you wanted to take a picture of just like all of the cyropores, we could, right? Pretty neat. Okay, um, I think maybe we'll do one last photo. So okay. find something you want to collect an image of, and then mm -hmm. we'll do that, and then we'll uh, maybe we'll find somebody to raid or uh, uh, or we'll end the stream. So we've been going now for about. Uh, <laughs> for three and a half, uh, three hours and 20 minutes or something like that. And I still haven't eaten today. So in my list of things to do. All right, very cool. Uh, we got a whole bunch of subs that were given out by Sean. E -E -E. There's a lot of keys <laughs> at the end. Uh, and I'm uh, excited to see that. Yeah, about three hours. But we started working on the SEM to try to get the images that we were looking at a little bit before that. So. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we were looking at some really small stuff on there. <laughs> uh, oh, so this is another um, in that Stephanodiscus or Cyclostephanus type diatom. And actually, if we come in here, there's a couple of little pores that are slightly different. Can you see those? Yeah. So zoom in on those. And what we'll do is, uh, so just in, in this area, zoom in with the zoom wheel. And um, we'll try to get a nice clean picture from this so you can see those. I just want to move it up a little so we don't have that piece of junk in our field of view. Uh, but you can see that there's this structure that's a little bit different than the surrounding components. And if we slow that beam down, we can see it a little bit. We also need to fix the brightness because we went back to 10 and 7, bounced around. Um, and also we're looking on the inside of this diatom. So you can see there's a really specialized little structure in there. That is the central photoportula. And um, these little uh, structures are called curbra, which were missing in the previous one, but they're present here. And we can, if we do everything right, uh, this would be a nice, cool picture. It's almost like the one that we used for the startup for, this, uh, for the show. Um, as we come in here, and if we were really well focused, on these things, they will, uh, little holes will pop out for us on the bow face of those like little salt pepper shaker heads. I can almost see some in there now. I'm gonna just reduce it down to one. So because we're looking over, scanning over a smaller area, we can slow the beam and have it actually focus a little faster. Um, and maybe we want to take it down to five even. And see if we can get that um, to show up for us. So I'm just turning the focus wheel a little bit at a time. I'm trying to see if I can get that focus perfect. It seems like I'm not getting any better. And normally this is also where I would try to use the stigmation because it might be slightly out of um, stigmation as well. So we can go in and tweak the stigmation and see if we can get that image to just get a little bit cleaner. It's really not popping out for us. But this is sort of the game that I often will play and trying to get that thing just perfect with respect to the focal height. Um, it could also be that they're slightly dissolved, but I think it's actually just that it's slightly out of focus.
Yeah, I think maybe there's just a little bit of clay and it's slightly out of focus. So we're not getting that nice clean like little hole structure. But we can zoom out just a bit. And I'm gonna raise this uh, beam intensity back up to seven so that we don't have it quite so dark. What do you think? Well, I'll let you compose it and then we'll go ahead and take a picture. Okay. So we're, scale bar at the bottom is two microns. There are 1,000 microns in one millimeter. And so um, we would need 500 of those stacked end to end in order to basically make up one millimeter to try to give you some sense of the scale of what we're looking at. These things are extremely, extremely small. Hey, Mallory. Oh, we got more subs. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What's happening in the what channel? What did she say in that? Oh, it's Mika. I don't think Mika likes being in second place. <laughs> they just sent out a gift share to gift sub to uh, to Jans. Five emotes shared. Oh, that's from the uh, K-pop sharing emotes, I think. Okay, very cool. Uh, thank okay. you again for all the, the subs and for the follows today. So let's go ahead and set the speed to seven. If we're happy with our composition. Actually, I still feel like the focus is... Oh, that's actually pretty good. So you can see there's little tiny pores around the outside edge of this. These are called satellite pores. And we'll just let it go ahead and take that picture. So seven, seven. We'll set the auto brightness. And we'll let it take a picture once we get the brightness sorted out. And then we'll just wrap it up for today. Uh, it's about an hour longer than we were planning on, uh, initially planning on spending on the scanning electron microscope. Unfortunately, we can just set our own schedule for Wednesdays. We don't need to worry about what other people are doing in here because it's my lab. All right. Uh, uh, Mika's definitely super, super uh, generous and Shawnee super generous uh, for donating subs to the channel. Again, all of that money is going to be um, redistributed to pay for student research uh, in our lab. So uh, we greatly appreciate it. And um, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by. We've had a really good participation today in the channel. And for all of our new viewers uh, who aren't familiar with our schedule, every Wednesday and Saturday, we stream from the scanning electron microscope from 1 to 3 p.m. And then I will sometimes stream a little bit from home using a light microscope, or uh, sometimes I'll do games with my daughter. Uh, but they're uh, things that I do in the evenings. So if you're not able to catch the show, we always uh, will save them as uh, VODs and uh, they're available, uh, I think, for like a month after uh, as a result of me being a Prime member. And um, I don't know what we'll be doing this weekend, but uh, I'm threatening to look at some lichens and some moths. I don't know, uh, Mallory won't be here. You won't be here? Or will I, you? I don't know. Okay. It depends. I might be on my I own. I should be here, but I don't oh. know. Okay. Well, if you're around, uh, maybe we'll have Eleanor again looking at some uh, weird things. We're going to see if we can find some, uh, I don't know what we'll find, springtails probably, maybe some uh, uh, other organisms, potentially water bears, who knows. Um, you never know what you'll find when you start digging around in, uh, in mosses and lichens. Uh, but that's sort of, I think, our plan for Saturday. So uh, you can check us out then. and. Um, Join the Discord if you're interested in it. If you scroll down underneath my name, there's a channel with the Discord uh, information, uh, a little a picture with the Discord information on it. And uh, and we'll, I guess we'll catch you next time. Uh, I haven't uh, picked out who we want to raid. Um, Good news, everyone. Oh, we got hey. a new follow right there at the end. Uh, but we should probably pick out someone to raid. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, and, uh, and for our new viewers, uh, thanks a lot for checking us out. Uh, I'm going to send the raid to 
let's go. Oh, we could go raid Dangling Uvula. She's right there. Uh, and see the Sims 4 that she was talking about. Yeah. Um, we, if you can say that, we, yeah. um, what do you want to call We them? actually raided Physics O last time we ended our stream. What do you want to name? Uh, just, uh, um, Stephanie Discus. Okay. So just put the, yeah, on there, put the, uh, for there, just put the sample number. Okay. So whatever sample this was, number one, I think. Uh, let's see, who could we raid? We could go raid Dangling Uvula, who just started the, Sim, the Sims 4 stream. Uh, we could see what they're up to. Uh, oh, is there somebody Stephen Wolfram? Is that an option? Monterey AQ, is that a stream? That we might uh, jump over to? The Aquarium? They have a stream for the Aquarium? Uh, okay, let's see if we can find them. Let's see if that works. Oh, it did. Great. Well, uh, I'd love to be able to uh, jump over to something cool and sciencey like that. And um, Monterey Aquarium would be a great place for us to go. So we're just going to go ahead and raid them now. And for all the people who are hanging out with us today, thanks a bunch. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the raid button here in a second. I want to thank Mallory for helping out today and also Eleanor for helping out today with the scanning electron microscope and for keeping uh, channel occupied um, as I am mostly been the disembodied voice uh, talking around <laughs> from the side uh, while I try to manage whatever it is that I'm doing uh, with the channel or whatnot. Um, and, uh, and we'll see you guys again on Saturday at the latest. You should also check out uh, other streamers if you like to see the science streams. Um, Del Maximum and, and, uh, and Pacific Plankton, who are moderators in here today, and also uh, OpenSet. Um, I can go ahead and send you the link for those uh, right now. And um, uh, Pacific, Pacific Plankton will be on tomorrow evening um, around, I think she said, midnight Eastern time. And, uh, and Del should be on tomorrow night? No, tonight. Uh, with his new uh, setup. So um, you should definitely check them out. All right, here we go. Oh, I just got like a caption issues detected. That is really cool. Do this. And 